Okay. We are back in Baldur's Gate. And today, we're gonna finish the main portion of the Underdark and start Grimforge. I don't know if we're actually gonna finish Grimforge today. I doubt it considering it's already four o'clock, but we'll see. That one, that was the one I was talking about yesterday. The nautiloid should be like more facing the left side of the screen than the way it's facing, I'm pretty sure. I could just be crazy though. But like the way that, uh, cause that little dock is the one that you see right as you come out of the nautiloid. So I think it should be more facing towards the left side of the screen. But yeah, I'm just crazy. Um, what am I doing? Oh yes, that's right. I need to go to Omelum before we go to Grimforge. Yeah, that's a lot of Grimforge stuff left. This is the last part that I need for the main Grim, or the main Underdark. Oh my gosh, I hate it! Says he has a hundred approval. Okay, if I've got 70 approval for Shadow Heart, surely that means I've got about that for Astarian, right? I wish I knew what his real approval was. That bothers me. Let's go look around first and then we'll deal with, with that. Ah! Ah! What is happening? Ah! Oh my. I don't know because the camera hates me. Ooh, message in a bottle. Dad, sorry I stopped writing. We ran out of paper on the road. I got this from the druids. Maybe that's why they're so mad at us. I hope this can find you. Zevlar says you got lost and that our old house is gone. But I read a book that says our rivers find their way into the sticks. If you get it, can, you can write me back in Baldur's Gate. Or maybe come visit. I'll write again when I get more paper. Donnie! Like, the the red tiefling that guides that guards the... The one thing? Um, oh, 
Hold on, something... Why does that still say that? Why do I still have that? Hold on a second. I shouldn't have that anymore. Um, I swear it sounded like something updated. Am I crazy? I think I might be crazy. All this gold. Come on, give me the gold. This is so annoying. Why? Why do I have to click way over here? Is there something else? Okay. The ecstasy of murder? Once Swell's favor is quickened within one of his beloved murderers, the bliss of his love is nigh indescribable, for he blesses his loyal with a new sensation, a mindless, instinctual, primal sensation that comes from within the bowels, an erotic spasm that washes over the killer in the moment of murder. It is said that in that instant, his divine essence can almost be tasted. Forsake all their hedonism's acolytes, for nothing can compare. Until the true ecstasies of murder wash over you, initiates, this scroll contains a prayer, you may say after a kill, calling for the Lord's disgrace to find its course in your body. Huh. That's an interesting scroll. I wonder if that's there for uh, tabs, because I never noticed. That's the first time that I ever found that, so. I don't know. Uh, I think that's everything here. Make sure that it's actually Ilvir that goes into this conversation. To fill your oceans, oh blessed Boal. Our bones to build your temple in the deep. A wave of pure devotion washes over you. And with every surge, you feel a presence grow in response. Word priest, promises. Your god wants proof. These beings are Kuatoa. Kuatoa. Mind flayer slaves that manifest their gods through sheer belief. You, our Lord of Murder, demands sacrifice. You will be an offering for the great god Boal. Boal. Gonna ask for that guidance. Good thing I have inspiration. Seriously, a one on the guidance. I can't. There we go. I was still a one. This presence, the 
magic is not divine, but fey. And it is murderous. Well placed! Blood wants a sacrifice! Blood wants blood! Um... Ooh, oh, I, this is... I want to do the first one because it's like dark urge, but but also Okay, I'm gonna save and I'm gonna try The first one and then I'll go back and, tr and do the third one because that's the one that I really need to do Fool I kill in my sleep if you seek death death itself is here That sounds like a lot more blood Oh A lot more mess Good Go then, Chosen. Tell the surface wall, blood is coming. And so you don't forget. Here, this blade is my tongue. And I want a taste of every life you take. Mad guilt swills in your swimming sick body. Today, you uh. become the heart of a false god. Pride okay. I just wanted to see what happened when I did that because it's a darker specific one, I think. <gasps> Goodness. Where you're just a rabid little fey creature? You mother trucker! Guidance, I am coming for your ass. Oh, then you give me a four. Okay, I see how it is. I'm a god! And I'm gonna rip you! Tell you! Where's your for a hat? In the outburst of emotion, you feel the divine presence falter, then revert to its basic, cruel nature. Well. Don't do anything hasty now. The fish folk got plenty of power. We can share. Blessed boar. What? Shut it, you. I'm talking to my chosen. Chosen got power. You want power, don't you? Uh. Okay. Uh, I'm talking to my chosen. Chosen got power. You want power, don't you? Ooh. Hold on. Because there's a way to get Starian's approval for this. But I don't remember exactly what I need to do. remember exactly which choice I need to choose to get, to get, to get his approval. Because if I'm going to do all this, I'm going to get his approval. Mm, sorry. 
How far down do I have to go? Just kill you and claim it for myself. Kiss my ass. Wait, what? I'm the Lord of Murder. I'll show you why. Okay, it literally says on here, tell Bual he is a fake god and tell him you'll just kill him and take his power, plus five. So why is it he didn't approve and Shadowheart did? Is it because it's glitched and it says that... There's no way I actually have 100 approval for him. This better not screw up his romance or I'm going to be really pissed. Hold on. I want to see. He's got the gate three. Sorry. I know. Here's Sarian. 100 Sorry and bugged. Okay, well, I don't think it's entirely possible that I actually have 100 approval with him right now, but fudge it, I'll take it. I just hope that it doesn't glitch 
And if it does, I'm going to be real pissed. Blood follows me everywhere. Blood follows me everywhere. Go star in. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, hold on. If I dash, can I get to him? No. No, I absolutely absolutely can. There. Okay, I need you to fart in his direction, Karlak. Okay. Okay. You were slain the pretender. We knew in our hearts the god Buol was false. But you, we see you. We know you by your true name, Ma Glumpa. If they ask for a sacrifice, I'd suggest virgins. Young and hot-blooded. <laughs> what is to be your first commandment, O oh great god? A better name than Maklumpa, for one. You are too modest, great one. This name perfectly captures your essence, your fury. We will spread word of Maglum. Okay. Your glory will sing from 10,000 throats. Okay, well that was interesting. It's always a pleasure to see you sauntering over. Smooth talker, you. Soldier. Shah's blessings upon you. Okay. I, I love how everybody else is just Kuatua, Kuatua. And then there's Pool Drip, the, the zealous. Something back here? No, it's just a weird little jet out. Well, 
believe that is everything for here. So... Yeah. Back to the Mycanid Colony, talk to a Melon. left. I need a quick word. Welcome back. Have you made any new discoveries? do enjoy a good bargain if anything in my private collection is to your liking oh good i'm so glad that you have a bunch of gold because i have a bunch of stuff to sell Give that to anybody or don't need that. Don't need that. that. Scorching ray. The baneful. Okay. Ah, uh, it's bound to an eldritch knight. Stokers. Unimpeded by difficult terrain. Oh, well, all of my party can see in the dark, so that doesn't matter. <sighs> Magic missile. I kind of want to buy that. Because I think there's a rain... No, there's boots. I don't know what boots or where I get them from, but there are boots that have... Um, Misty Step. So I might give... Once I get those, I might give the Amulet of Misty Step to somebody else. And then I'll give him the... Shoot an additional dart whenever you cast magic missile. Oh, damn. Do that. Um. Okay, I've got four scrolls of revivify. I'll do one. So that. Ilvir has one as well. But I believe that is everything.
Yeah. Very well. I have. Okay. Oh, Melum. I greet you, child of the sun. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? Ooh, yeah. How did you escape your colony? I was born with a propensity for arcane magic my people despise. It gave me the strength to resist the elder brain. Every waking hour I pushed back against its dire hold. My wizardry empowered me. The moment its control shattered, I fled. Before the colony discovered, I had defected. Oh. So he's a wizard. And, um... When... The Elder Brain's control... Yeah, when it's shattered, when, uh... When it became the Absolute... He lost control, or he was free, and he fled. I love that for him. I love Melum. He's such a chill guy. Um, how do you survive? Don't you need brains? In the beginning, I had an arrangement with a lich. Excellent company, despite what one would expect. I required brains. He required souls, a perfect symbiosis. But our ambitions eventually splintered. I wished to better the world, and he preferred its rot. So I left his company, and thus I now feed from those who act against the society's goals. Um, best way to deal with that sort of hunger, I suppose. Perhaps the peoples of the Underdark will be less inclined to violence if they comprehend the cost, yes? Um, I found those mushrooms you were looking for. These are fine specimens. It will only take me a moment to brew them to proper potency. Omeluum turns away to prepare the potion, lost in its own musings. You must drink the entire draught. I can make no promises as to its taste. Um, and what exactly is this going to do to me? It will lower the psionic defenses around the lava. If I cannot remove it, I may still be able to tell you more about its origin. Omeluum watches you with cautious intensity. It expects doubt. It expects fear. What are you telling me? Is this experiment dangerous? Only in that you may be a danger to yourself. What the potion may make you see or feel. I cannot determine. But unless you are already a step from death, it will not kill you. All right, bottoms up, boys. The acidic liquid tightens your throat, burning on the way down. It's a bolt of agony straight to your stomach. Not a drop left. Very good. As the potion influences your mind, you may find yourself acting irrationally. Try and stay focused. Okay. The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. You are fluid, but trapped like a creature suspended in amber. Use that meditation, baby. Oh, yeah. You center yourself. 
Your body is an anchor. Implacable and catatonical spasms seizes. It's fighting the potion even harder than you are. Fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper, as if it means to hollow out your skull. Uh oh. Um. I think it's, it's all wisdom anyway, right? Oh, wait. Intelligence, wisdom, wisdom. Drown out the tadpole! I don't know if I necessarily need this now. That's fine, though. Dirty 20! The cold blades lose their edge. You are stalwart, turning that tide of fear against itself. Yeah. The parasite swells with power. More power than you have ever felt before. It surges and twists, lashing out against that which would dare to intrude. The oh, no. parasite in your mind quiets, pleased with itself. Sorry, Omelon. Omelon, are you well? That lava is like nothing I have ever observed before. Its power is unsettling. Um, I felt it grow inside me. There's more power than ever. Such an outcome was not in my calculations. There is more to this being than mere stasis. So I went through all this, and the tadpole is still lodged in my brain. Indeed. Although, I may have another solution, albeit a temporary one. I possess a ring of mind shielding. It prevents elder brains from noticing my presence. It will not remove the lava, but it will limit its influence. Both positive and negative. I would offer it as a gift, but in truth, the ring is priceless. Is there anything you could offer me in turn? Um... How about I tell you more about that Nandaloid? Every last detail. A fascinating topic indeed. What can you tell me? Um... I think that's also intelligence, right? Oh no, that's charisma. Intelligence! Detailed description. Yeah. What a brilliant experience. To feel one step closer to my ancestors is a fine gift indeed. Here, it is yours. May it serve you Ooh, as well Bruce. as it has served me. That thing better work. If it doesn't, I doubt you'll be in any position to complain. Of course, the lava remains. Be ever vigilant of its growth. Oh no, I'm poisoned. Perhaps, but at such an act. Um. We refuse to help destroy the Sovereign Spa. Clint attacked us. Why does it still say rescue the Druid Halson? Does it not change until you get to, um, Act 2? I don't know. 
I don't care anymore. Oh, that's right. I have to, I have to, I, before I go to the mountain pass, I need to make sure I remember to do the forge weapon. That's the tea house. Um, that's it for the main portion of the Underdark. Off to the Grim Forge. A vessel bubbles on the lake's murky waters. Sail into the darkness. Damn, they're all just chilling. He looks so pretty with the. What are you doing on Gex Raft? Gek, who are you? Oh, I want to just push him into the water. Um, either deception or just put or athletics. Screw it. I'm pushing him. Uh oh. Um. Uh oh. Oh, whew. Whew. Scared me. Not talking to the likes of you. <laughs> oh, mind mastery. How I have not missed that spell. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, there's not going to be any sneak attacks from him. The Craig, go oh, baby. Yeah. Um. Oh. What do I have to do? Get over here. <laughs> I did not intend for that to happen. That's incredible. That was dumb. Okay. Let's go, Carlac. Okay, what is happening here? 
No. Thank you. Um. Can't move. Oh, it's melee for cure wounds. Never mind. Yeah, that a girl. Oh my. Oh, so help me. Invisible enough. Fair. Death won't take me yet. Okay. Bruh. Bruh. Eat it. Oh my come on, Carlag. Why are you Miss Whiffington? What is happening here? Of course, I can't. Oh, wait. Can she? <laughs> wait, how did that hit him? I just realized. Or hit her. It's fine. Just one thing, one thing, and when you do, you don't have to quit. Oh my lord, you stress me out, girly. I don't think that's gonna be better than the one that Carlac has. Not even close. The highlight was when I, uh... The highlight was when I just pulled that guy in with the water whip. That was so funny. Okay, there's nothing in here. Beep, beep, beep. Ready to sail. Continue on your journey. <laughs> now that I'm covered in the blood of the people that I'm journeying towards.
<laughs> Women are ready less. Company's calling. What do we got here? Dead hoon walking, seems like. Got any reason I shouldn't sever your head and toss it to the Rothe? I'll sever yours first. Not in the mood for another fight, believe it or not. Can we play nice? For now. Um. <laughs> um. Just let me through. I'm not looking for trouble. That right? And just what do? You feel the slightest of stirrings in your head. The Dwegar is not infected, yet your minds resonate. Oh, I'll be. You're one of them cult freaks. Felt the tingle. In that case, let's talk business. Your twat's old friend near caused a rockfall. Trapped tighter than a hornet's arse. Couple of known slaves stuck with him, too. Little bastards. You absolute shaggers owe us a crap load of coin. You want through? Make a donation. Oh. I'm not giving you a single coin. Unclog your hole. Just shitting around. But I'm warning you. That twat soul ain't settled up soon. There'll be hell to pay for the lot of you cult buggers. Seems we'll have to free near before we can collect the bounty on his head. Don't forget the gnomes. I'm not leaving them with their captors. I know, Krylak. Before we do anything, I'm gonna go I'm bitch! So tired. How do people do this all day? Don't you worry, baby cakes. We're going to bed. so close to level six I'm trying to decide because I didn't want to I kind of wanted to do um, the whole thing with near first see me those against charmed dude this doesn't I guess I'll give it to Carlac I don't need it for anybody else Yeah, because he doesn't have. Mm, we just said that, gee. Okay. Um, but I kind of wanted to do near first and then do everything else and clear it out. But I don't know. It might be a little bit of a struggle since we're not level six yet. That's how I get the survival instinct. Cause I had it for Illyris, but I was like, where did I get this? I haven't done anything. That makes sense. It's from the, the tadpole scenario with Omelum. Uh, if he's a creature with cyanic force, if it reaches zero hit points, it heals instead of falling unconscious. That's actually really good. I might actually... I'm not, I'm gonna... Okay. I don't think anybody's gonna have anything to chat, but... So, oh. are we saving this near from suffocating or leaving him to die? I'm fine with either, naturally. The last thing I want to do is ruin these nails digging through rock. <laughs> We probably should, if only for the gnome's sake. Cults, really? Oh, saving a drow, I can understand, but saving gnomes? Oh, <laughs> stop being a goody two shoes. But if you or not goody two shoes. On being a hero, I won't get in your way. Just don't expect me to help either. Oh, don't you worry. You will be helping. But 
I want to try and start being a better person. I don't know. I can't really say that after yesterday when I uh, refused to give Dareth the noble stock, but um, I want to start the shift into like the redeeming dirge, you know, because like Telesa was also a redeemed dirge, and at first she was kind of like I was actually thinking about this this morning, but um. She, at first, wasn't the best. Like, she did a lot of questionable things, like killing Pandora and Cold Blood. Um, but she slowly morphed into wanting to become a better person and, like, resisting the urge and stuff like that. And, um,. I just like lost my train of thought, but um, she started like shifting gears and wanting to be like a hero and like make up for like what she's done as she learned more about herself, and um, that's why she Celesta was I call Telesa a paladin, an oath of vengeance paladin, but she, really she was an oathbreaker. She broke her oath within the first like three hours of being in the in the game, and then she didn't reclaim it until Act 3, after she beat Orin. So technically she was an Oathbreaker. She wasn't an Oath of Vengeance Paladin, she was an Oathbreaker. And it was very fun to play that narratively, because, um, the whole reason, because she, like, you can take your oath back at any point, as long as you pay the fee and stuff like that. But, it was fun playing it where she felt bad for like the things that she'd done so she's like I refuse to take my oath back I don't wanna I can't hold myself to, I feel I can't hold myself to these tenants to my oath um I wanna redeem myself so that I feel worthy of actually being able to uh, uphold these tenants and be a proper paladin and then of course that changed in act 3 when she found out her whole lineage and she's like okay so in order for me to be considered a paladin, considering it wasn't ever a real paladin, um, I need to rid myself of my past, essentially. So she didn't actually take her oath back until she actually got through that hurdle. And it was very fun to play. But with Ilvir, it's a little bit different because I'm playing them as more of a, like, not morally questionable, because that's how I really described Telesa, but in evil, she's chaotic. She's chaotic. <laughs> or, they're chaotic. I don't know why I said she. Um, but they're more chaotic. They have their own interests ahead of others for the most part. So, right now, it's, that's why uh, they've got the most approval with Astarian because they don't really care about will fully care about the interests of others it's more so like yeah sure I'll help you but I'm, it's not entirely something that I want to do and um, I think it'll be interesting once we get into act 2 to get that to start shifting so that it goes towards the redeemed dirge route because that's the only dirge route I will ever play. Um, so, yeah. And I think this is like one of those pivotal moments because Carla, like, they care for their companions, obviously, a lot. They're kind of an, the companions are kind of an extension of them at this point. So, they're like I want to I want Carlac to um to approve of what I'm doing and I want to be better so the fact that she's like 
Um, I want to help these gnomes. We got to get, we got to do all that stuff. They're like, okay, yeah. And also, this whole situation can also still be seen as chaotic because we have to kill Nier, no matter what. Um, so, why not be good about it and help the gnomes at the same time? So, yeah. <laughs> I just fully went on a, like a three minute tangent about characters and stuff like that, but I've been thinking about my Baldur's Gate characters in general a lot today, so I just kind of wanted to talk about that a little because I haven't fully... I can't, I just... Never mind, I'm done talking. <laughs> we need to get that near guy unstuck. Well, those gnomes are done for. Come on, focus. Girlie, we are both about to die right now. We have no short rests. We'll do it in the morning. I see where you're coming from, though. Nasty way to go. Suffocating slowly under a ton of rubble. Not a fate I'd personally relish. I could have sworn that Will was over here, too. But I, I guess not. Um, I wanted to put this in the camp box. That, I don't know. I might just put it in Gail's inventory for now. I don't know if he necessarily needs it, but...
Okay, I think I accidentally put that in my inventory. No, I accidentally put it on. Uh, Lizelle. She have right now. Um. I don't know what's better. At the start of their turn? Oh, at the start of combat. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> Poor Gale. <laughs> or Will. I don't ever use Will. So his stuff. Oh, I just sold that rapier. I could have given that to him. Oh, well. I gotta level everybody up. I wish there was a way that when your party leveled up, that everybody leveled up, it was gonna be really annoying because I have to switch out Lazel or the Carlac for Lazel once I get to the mountain pass, and I'm gonna have to level her up like three times at least. I'm gonna leave those on her. I don't know who I'm gonna give that to though. Cause it's with a weapon attack. I don't know. What's hers? I'm actually gonna give that to Carlac. Oh, wait, that actually does really good damage. Oh, I should have kept the, the bloody... Dang, nab it! Well, it's too late now. I'm already in the Grimforge. I'm not going back yet. Um... I should have kept the bloody great axe for her. So that she has something that does really good damage. I think... Yeah, I don't think that's better. Um, talk to Lazel. Hey, girly. Speak. Okay. This true soul near stuck behind a rockfall, is he? Forgive me if I'm in no hurry to go digging him out. Maybe he'll bring us closer. That drow near is going to be on his last gasp unless someone digs him out. Though not necessarily our concern, of course. Oh, uh, has this changed? What's on your mind? How are you holding up? Okay. Don't be so modest. I can't remember the last time I met someone like you. Perhaps I never did. 
and never will again. I love you, Shadowheart. You wish to speak? Oh, I found the stronghold in the Underdark you mentioned. A place called Grimforge. Impressive. Most would quake at the mere thought of delving that far into the Underdark. What did you find? Absolute followers, but that's about all. Hmm. Keep looking. If they're present, then it's likely there's a route to Moonrise somewhere. It may prove impossible to avoid the Shadow Curse entirely. But if you find any way to limit your exposure, seize it. Okay. I was also thinking of this too. I think I actually like um, entering Act 2 from the Underdark. Because I like that you get to go directly, well not directly, but pretty much directly to Last Light. So you at least have some element of protection from the Shadow Curse at the very beginning. And then also it takes you right to, um, to Karnas where you can get a Moon Lantern and stuff like that. So I think it's a lot easier. But also... Mm. See, I would say I'm gonna go the Mountain Pass way to you so that I can do the interactions to get a starring approval. But by all intents and purposes, the game thinks that my approval with a starring is maxed out. So there's not really much point in doing that. Cup. Where's Scratchington? I just saw you, Scratchington. Where'd you go? There you are. Scratch's tail wags enthusiastically. See, this is how I know. Let's see. Scratch's yeah. tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. This is how I know that Alyris was, was glitched out, because it did not have that text when I interacted with Scratch while I was playing them. And unless it was just introduced in, like, one of the hot fixes or something like that, which I don't think it was, because I think I had it even for Telesa, which was my second character. Um, I think everything about her her play playthrough was kind of like whacked out. Uh oh, oh, it's a nightmare. wags furiously. These two have become firm friends. Aww. Nothing. Both animals look fine, watching you expectantly. Why can I only pet Scratch? I want to pet them both. Oh, okay. 
I love how, um, how different the two animations are between the owlbear and Scratch. Scratch is like stereotypical rough up the dog as you pet it, whereas the owlbear's is like more gentle and careful. It's cute. Okay, um... What you got for me, buddy? Oh. Why is that different? He gives in and surrenders his <gasps> A potion? Why, thank you. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. Yay. Okay, so now... Now everybody can have... 17 potions. Dude, this is what I mean. Like, at a certain point, the normal potions of healing just become inadequate. Because one, you have to chug them, and two, you just stop using them. So now I've got everybody with 17 potions of healing. Oh, look at that! They're so cute! Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so special to me. Nobody has anything. This place is hard to bear. I hope we're able to continue on our way before too long. I know what you mean. Everyone is so unhappy. Yeah. Oh. That's so true. Well, I meant more than molten rock and plunging chasms, but yes, the folk leave something to be desired as well. Present company, of course. <laughs> oh, hush, you stop fishing. <gasps> They're so cute. Oh, I love them. I can't wait to play a Carlac Origin in Romance Shadowheart because I think they're very cute together. Connected in the Underdark to the Sharn Temple is gone. To reach the Night Song, we'll have to go over land. Wait, that's interesting. I've never really thought about that. So, even the Underdark had a Temple of Selena and a Temple of Shar. That is so. I love that. Like, obviously, I knew that this was uh, a Sharn temple, but I never really thought too much of it. Mm 
Very cool. I should have heard anything to say. Shah's blessings upon you. Not a thing. Sometimes I think that they have to, like, I think too much about the possibility that they'll have something to say about the most mundane of things. And it makes me sad when they don't have anything to say. <laughs> like, I like the input from my companions. So I expect them to have, like, some grandiose, like, line or whatever about something. Obviously, that can't be the case for everything. This game's already expensive enough as it is. If they had comments about every little thing, it wouldn't have come out until 2030. But... Um... Seventy-two... Thirty-seven, okay. What's a fort like this doing in the Underdark? Whoever built it, they let it rot for ages. That's it, huh? You know what I, I've just thought of? Like, aside from the whole, uh, those two being cute, they haven't really had much chatter here in the Underdark. Oh! Hello! Hey! So, are you greeting invisible beings or just losing your mind? I hear someone giggle! <laughs> the echoes, listen. They're coming from three directions. Losing your mind it is. Probably the tadpole. The weirdest things seem to be. I love this game is like so self aware. Just like yesterday, when I'm like, does, does there always have to be something on my mind when Gail asked when I was talking to Gail? And then Ilvera's like, there's something on my mind or something like that. I'm like, hello? And then just now, when I was talking about how they haven't really had any chatter. And can I say, out of all the chatter that I've heard between Astarian and Karlak, those two are so siblings coded. Like everything they say is just, it just reminds me of siblings bantering. It's so cute. I love them. I never understood because like a lot of people when they play Karlak Origin, they romance Astarian. And I'm like, I don't get it. I don't get the hype. I think they're more siblings than they are like potential romanceable partners. I don't know. I also, I had that whole thing yesterday about Gail, but I place a lot of weight on platonic slash familial bonds because it's stuff that I relate to more than romance bonds because I'm arrowways. So, um, the fact that they have a very seemingly platonic, like, familial bond is very special to me, and I don't want to see it as romantic. Obviously, in the grand scheme, you think it doesn't really matter. You can ship whoever you want, but, and honestly, they all kind of have potential to, rom to be romanceable with each other, because they all kind of have some interesting lines with each other. But, yeah. That's my take on things. I also really love Bloodweave, which that one you can take and take or leave. It could be either. A lot of people ship Will and Astarian, which I get it. That's like Astarian even says that um, that was his ideal man. Um, back before everything with Cazador. And I think that it would be sweet. Because Astarian's whole thing with his romance is learning how to love romantically and uh, like actually, and not just rely on sex and sedu seduction. Actually like forming a bond with somebody. Which is a, what a lot of Will's Romance is is being very gentlemanly and not having sex and being romantic and stuff like that 
which is it's cute in the grand scheme of things i get it but there's just something about the rivals to lovers that i love with gale and the starry and it's just so good but yeah i can i honestly it can be honestly either way i i also <laughs> Went on the tangent again, but I also ship um, Carlac and Will, and I think that they're really cute. But Samantha Bay art, uh, Carlac's voice actress slash actress, even said that when they were doing the mocap for Carlac, they were picturing the um, romantic interactions with Carlac as a woman or somebody with a femme alignment so she's very much for the sapphics but something about will and carlac is it is really cute so i like them but shadowheart and carlac got a thing too and i love that so yeah uh rant over <laughs> this keeps happening She looks good in the Dark Justicia robes, or the Dark Justicia armor. Obviously, it's not as good as the armor she has now, but she looks good in that. So I'm gonna keep it for, you know, just because I can. Well, it's cured by Shadow that we're deals one to four necrotic damage to attackers that hit them with a melee attack. Oh, okay. So actually... You look oh. at the skeletons, you realize they're all clad in the same dark armor. Dark Justicia uniforms? These were Shah worshippers. The same as me. Whatever killed them made an enemy of a powerful goddess. Whatever killed a bunch of Sharans might still be down here. Just saying. Obviously, it's not... They've been down for a while, so... Whatever killed them more than likely has left. But I get the, the paranoia, Karlak. Cycle 40. I know it is forbidden to enter the Inquisitor's chambers, but I could not help myself. Has Master Catholic not commanded us to use every possible tool to best Char's rivals? Besides, if Sybil meant to keep the amulet a secret, she would have hidden it better. Cycle 40 and 2. The amulet has gifted me a power, an energy, heretofore known, unknown to me. I have never known such might and such cheer. I can keep myself from smiling. I can barely keep myself from smiling, much the other chagrin. Siphon. Ha! Like, ha, 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 Cycle, 40 and 5. It is done. Thank the Dark Lady. Sybil ripped the amulet from my throat and cast it into the lava, having found me racked by laughter. The madness is lifted, but I do not yet know my penance. Sybil is not known to take pity on thieves. So, this is something I never thought about. This is, um... I think the sentient amulet that you get down in the Grim Forge by the by the Adamantine Forge, because I think he was a Sharon, or am I wrong? I don't remember. But um, obviously it is. It's either. Well, actually, no. No, so it it's them having. I don't know. 
I'm trying to be smarter than the game. Okay, no, so it was he found or they found the the sentient amulet. Okay. Cause I don't know what the time frame is between these two, so I thought it could be either or, but that doesn't make any sense. Because the whole thing is that he was turned into... No, because it was Char that turned him into the... He wasn't a Char, and it was Char that turned him into the... Or cursed him to make the, him the amulet, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, man. I think that I can outsmart this game, but that's not the case. Oh, okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, no! No! The only fish skeleton in existence of this whole game. Whoa. I don't know if I've ever actually just looked at that. That's so pretty. That is so pretty, dude. I will say, Sharon, the Sharon theme slash temples in this game are some of the prettiest like indoor settings in this whole game like it's so they're so pretty i hate the gauntlet of char but that's like my favorite setting in act two so Endure, endure, endure. So commands Ladiger the ta Taskmaster. Endure. Cry it out as your hammers strike rock. Endure. Shout it as your axe splits your enemy skulls. Endure. Holler as your cane strikes your slaves' backs. Toil is our duty and our blessing. Toil is the reward we grant our sons and servants. Yet beware the great enemy of toil, the scourge that wounds us in ours, the tankard. It's not only ale that bout pours forth from it, but indolence, gluttony, and a wandering mind. The drunkard is a clan's millstone, too heavy to carry, too idle to contribute. Cast him into the dark lake, let him sink to the bottom, and once more call out, endure, endure, endure. No! Oh my lord. I touch everything because I want to try and loot. But then it like throws that in, at me and it's like, ha ha. Oh, hey, there's like a bunch of stuff back here. No. Oh my lord. Don't give me trouble now.
Wait. Mm, no. What to do? What path lies before me? Okay. Fung Lost Amulet, Kill Near, Read the Deep Mums. Okay. Um. Trying to think. I kind of want to go back and do that fight first and then speak to the gnomes go get the the whatever and do philamine and then go and fight near and all them and then just work on clearing out everything else or everybody else is there anything I need to sell I actually don't think there is I do want to see if this guy has anything worth Buying or selling or buying though. Oh look at it. Look at the way it, it, it sleeps. Oh, I love the deep raw thing. They're so cool Is it you? Yeah. How peculiar Smooth face cobbled edges. They're a sign. They must be a sun dweller in these parts. Look here, my topside friend. I need fresh eyes, and I doubt I'll find fresher. Um. This guy's the only cool guy out of everybody in the Grim Forge. A friendly welcome, a rarity in the Underdark. As rare as a smile in Shindlerin, you might say. But I've no skill for slaving. I prefer chisel to cane. Oh, he's a good guy. But these learned eyes reach their limits, and so I must humbly request yours. Um, what are you doing exactly? Peering into cracks and crevices in hope to find history's morsels. I have come up regrettably short. I hope you might see truths where I cannot. Fine, what should I be looking at? The rock, the rubble, all of it, if I may be so bold. Take a look, tell me what you see, and be thorough. Oh wait, that's right. I think I get to do all this. meandering curves and golden edges stand out against the weathered masonry behind it two styles two eras the statue was carved from newer stone and erected by latecomers to this ancient fortress anything standing out um Well, well, I'm using my one inspiration for this. Okay.
Boulders and stone bricks of various sizes clutter the corridor. Many split cleanly in two, yet some walls remain fully intact. No quake brought these rocks down. They were smashed through in an instant. Something big charged through here. Something very big. What do you think? I'm not done yet. Hold your horses. Well. <laughs> well. Nothing odd catches your eye. <laughs> Nothing odd catches your eye. Yes. The rubble. Oh, it was a great beast that tore these walls down. I should have known. The statue is newer than the fortress, you say. So obvious in hindsight. Alas, you've left me with more questions than answers. My survey continues. Oh, I did not mean to do that. The past is nearer than we think. We simply I must love this guy. Think. He's just an architect, dude. Well, let's see what you've got. Okay, yeah, he doesn't really have anything. You can buy Infernal Alloy from him? Visibility. Glyph of warding. Oh, I need to get that for Carlac. Looks through the Colossus. Wait, why are these not stacking? In resistant fire. I don't know why those aren't stacked. And I shouldn't have anything to sell. Sold it. That's all then. Okay, I don't know why those aren't just stacking. That is something that I hate about the inventory in this game is that it doesn't automatically stack items when you get them. Like why is it that it's not made so that if you get something that is the same as something that is already existing in your inventory and can stack, why does it not automatically stack into that inventory? Especially if you're like a loot goblin, that's like such a pain in the ass because you have to sort through so much stuff just to get to one thing so that you're not taking up so many slots in your inventory. That is something that, because like a lot of people want the inventory management to be different and or like redone or whatever, which 
I don't. I've never found an issue with that, except for that singular scenario. Wait a second. Hold on a second. I didn't think about this too much because I never actually use my crossbow, but does an uncommon crossbow do less damage to me than a, than a common? May the darkness protect you. I wasn't talking to you. Oh no, okay. I know this design. Shah's faithful wield crossbows like these. Okay. I was about to say. So let me go sell that. So maybe I'll finally use them. Who knows? Probably I not though. Because I'll probably forget that I have them again. Needs clearing, and my patience is hanging on by an ass whisker. <laughs> Almost sounds like you're asking me for help if I ignore your tone. And it sounds like your ass wants for a lashing, the way you talk out of it. Something spooks the dumb shits, so stop your join and get to work in. What's behind the rubble? You got no need to know, and I got no need to tell. So get to Kanin, or to leave him. Here, hold on. I'm gonna talk to him. No more! No more pain! No more work! All must die! Focus. If you strike, your masters will destroy the herd. Okay. All right. Why does Carl like disapprove? We will do as we're told. We will clear the way. Mm. That's why. Okay.
Okay. Leaves, like on trees, up on the surface. I saw you scuttling over Europe. Grab a cane. That rubble needs clearing. And my patience is hanging on by an ass whisker. And it sounds like your ass wants for a lashing. The way you talk out of it. Something spooks the dumb shits. So stop your join and get to working. You got no need to know, and I got no need to tell. So get to caning or to leave him. Oh, that's easy. Tell me how I almost failed that roll. A slight glint catches your eye. Okay. Your eye finds the source of the gleam. A small mote of black metal. Adamantine. I know what you were after. There's adamantine back there, isn't there? Stuff's no joke. Stronger than steel. Rarer than mithril. It ain't mined. It's made. There's an adamantine forge back there, sure as shitting. Don't get any smart ideas. That forge is clan property. But get the beasts moving and I'll toss some coin your way. <laughs> Just splitting then. Sue your damn self. Oh, don't you worry. No more! No more pain, no more work! All must die! <laughs> Old death? Why? I can smell it. It is too much, too much anger! I can't hold it in! Give in to your rage and avenge your pain. Don't strike us all, just your masters. Yes. They know oh. the pain. Now they feel it. Nice. Bloody Ruth, they have lost it. Put them down. Mark, my boy. Ah! Ah! My boy! Oh, yeah, I crit him. Oh, yeah. And then. Of course, he saved. Guiding bolt I've ever seen in my life, uh, Shadow Heart. Tactical. Oh, yeah, there we go. Take that. Yeah! 
Go, Dark Rothe. out of here. Hey, where do you think you're going? Stop trying to hunter's mic of Sarian. Oh. Ah, oh, you sneaky little shit. So what if I do this? Where she stayed, saved. Man, flurry of blows. That was terrible flurry of blows damage. All right, go Shadow Heart. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Shadow Heart, Garlack. Oh, yeah, baby. Sweet, sweet sneak attack. Nice. Breaking through that rubble for me. For killing gray ones. Yes, I will do this. Oh. Okay. Good lord, they exploded it.
Okay. I got my dinner while I was gone. Um, let's use this. Take that. Something good here, I hope. Does the other one say the same thing? You should speak up. Dwergar can't hurt anymore. Okay. We'll wait, wait until it's safe to leave. Okay. Awesome. Very well. Okay. get anything from that. I can keep going a little longer now. I didn't really need to heal, but um I just wanna reset my key points and such. I was about to say, I'm like, hello? Can't give up now. Oh, I have another companion with me? I don't know what you're talking about. There's no one here. It's just us three. body experience right now. Hello? <laughs> what is happening? Um, my demons. I don't know what to tell you. I, um, yeah. I'm gonna save before doing this. Let me just go ahead and do that. Do that. Do that. Okay, thanks, Shadowheart. Yep. They're literally like, it is a lone health potion, like stuffed in a corner, and also a starion was invisible when he took it. Like that's such bullshit. Obviously I'm gonna kill everybody anyway, so it doesn't matter that much, but like, really? And they, they immediately came for me. Like... Another scrying eye, same as the goblins had. Someone's watching. Better be careful around it. But yeah, that was dumb. Hey, I was about to say. Blood thinks he's part of the team. Get out of here. That's the cult's doing. Donald's Luna did call for the moon and the stars. Shah cloaked them in shadow to cover our scars. Bro, get out of here!
What do you want from me? Huh? The way these quests are broken up sometimes makes no sense to me. Like, why is to free the artist and help the spirit of the amulet under the Baldur's Gate tab, but say, find the night song isn't? Like, we're in pretty under the shadow person. But, um, like, I get that you get it in that area. Actually, no. You get the Night Song quest, um, at the Grove. So, it should be under the Grove, not the Nautilus Crass region. But, it makes no sense how sometimes, um, uh, It's probably because there's no portion for the Zentarum. And it's not really a quest. So, it makes sense, I guess. At least for the free the artist. The hub, the spirit of the amulet, it, it could be under the Underdark portion.
Wait, what's up that way? Down that way. No. Wait, what? I'm some I'm confused. I guess I can't read a map. I've never heard this song before.
Okay. <gasps> Dancey dance. Carlac, honey, move. Never mind. You shouldn't have to move for her anyway. See where the nose. Three men. Found a way past the wall from the time, yes. Scarge will still at it then. So I can't stop chaining those. Okay. But he still ain't broke through. Had to eat my dinner real quick. And now we back in it. Here. Expedition. Uh. Passage trapped. The gnomes are useless. Don't trust Burks. Get me out. The view through Nir's eyes is a blur. You only make out a bit of rubble and few moving figures. Oh. While two others lie dead at Mir's feet, their flesh scorched by powerful magic. You sense Mir's frustration, tinged with rage, as the connection fades. Okay. Back on your feet, or I'll fight you. Ah, oh, it's you. The mascot of my ill fortunes. Hello again. Much as I'd love to chat, I'm not allowed social breaks. <laughs> you were on a quest, weren't you? Making progress? I thought I was. I came down here looking for Wolbrin. I suspected he and his little friends might have come to this region. And I was right. But I was too late. Wolbrin had already been taken to Moonrise Towers. The rest, put to work. You won't find a worse gaggle of rare duels than these iron hand gnomes. Except for Wolbrin, desperate though his taste in companions might be. As I was contemplating his folly, I was spotted by a very ugly dwergar. Now, I dig. It isn't good. <laughs> Sounds like you made a profound tactical error. I thought they'd be easy to outwit. I had an entire plan. Unfortunately, it didn't account for an army of mad underdark cultists. Nor did I account for some captives to be trapped in with the drow after the cave-in. Too many permutations. Quite the headache. Sounds like you need my help again. Help would be welcome. Whether you're up to the job remains to be seen. <laughs> hmm. This sounds like a challenge. I'll take care of your captors and I'll get you out of here. You will. If you are successful, that would be most convenient. Look, bug. The gnomes speak in soft whispers, 
the words all but lost in the hot air. Persuasion. Listen, I can help you. Act frightened or you'll draw suspicion. Praise Iron Hand. The Ridder, our prayers are answered. Hear me out. Our friends are trapped in the cave in, and I know a way to get them out. Bug, please. Truce or near will. You know what he'll do. Leave the chill soul to me. Now, tell me what you know. Don't, Buck, don't! I've... I've got no choice, Larida. We have to chance it. A few days back, there was a... A scene. Our friend Philomene, she's a sapper, set off a blast and ran off. We set a spot for hiding if someone found trouble. I'll mark your map. If Philomene made it, you'll find her there. She'll have the stuff to blow that tunnel wide open and get Beldron and the rest out. <laughs> I have some explosive powder. I can use it to get them out. Incredible news. Drop it near the cave-in and set it alight. So it shall be. You got the smoke powder? Go on, blow the rubble. And you better. Do they have anything to say? Lady of Sorrows no. guide us. Did you want something? Clean up this mess. Near dies. Hello, my sweet. I love when you call me my sweet. It's so cute. What's on your mind? You know, the funniest thing is... It's not necessarily but because of him, but because of a lot of the British people that I watch. But, uh, my love has become a, uh, a very popular thing for me to say when talking about people. See how their little pricks do when we strap fire to their legs. <laughs> hmm. Not the most sophisticated way of getting what you want from someone, is it? Move, Hoon! I don't have time for drugmen and outsiders. <laughs> I had a chat with Nier, and you're in big trouble. The parasite stirs. It's a mere tickle. You hear no thoughts or memories. Just an echo of scars that never healed. You spoke with him. Then you connected. You are a true soul. Glad you're here to take responsibility. Tunnels collapsed. Trapped true soul near. He's stuck in there with poisoned geezers. We don't get him out soon. It's both our heads. Not the head we'd like to see roll, unfortunately. <laughs> I've got some explosive powder. That should do the trick. That's so. Set it near the rubble. 
and ignite it. That'll blow the drow out. Okay. are allowed to do that as this one is about to demonstrate that's not what i thought was gonna happen i didn't know that it would just immediately blow up Gosh. <laughs> hey, my keyboard propped up and it fell over and it scared me. Their little pricks do when we strap fire to their legs. <laughs> hmm. Not the most sophisticated way of getting what you want from someone, is it? Move, Hoon! I don't have time for Drudden and outsiders. The parasite stirs, but it's a mere tickle. You hear no thoughts or memories, just an echo of scars that never heal. You spoke with him, then you connected. You are a true soul. Glad you're here to take responsibility. Tunnels collapsed, trapped true soul near. He's stuck in there with poisoned geezers. We don't get him out soon, it's both our heads. What is it with these people and heads? Let's get in his and get out. That's so. Set it near the rubble and ignite it. That'll blow the drow out. Keep trying for me. Okay. This ends well. Get out of the way! One sparky little blow. What are you waiting for? Let me say it first. You want to do the honors for me, Starion? Actually, I'll have Shadowheart do it. Where's it at? Where's it at? Hello? Oh, there it is. Your time has come. You can eat. So that's progress. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to use one of these. Finally! Beldron, can you hear me? Beldron! Finally! Worthless slaves! Your incompetence has been my ruin! Nay, does not fail. forgot
What are you waiting for? Blast the thing to bits! Shut up. I hate this man. Worthless slaves! Your incompetence has been my ruin! Nim does not fail. Stop. No more innocents will die today, Nier. You care for I the know, Starion. Most curious. This isn't about them. I just can't stand your face. And yet you came to my aid. Yeah, because I'm gonna kill you. A test. Yes, you must be. The Absolute bade you to try Nir's faith. The Thryn, carve out their heart and serve it to the Rothe. If they are indeed a true soul, let the Absolute save them. You so much as touch me, and I'll tear you limb from limb. The Absolute guides my hand. You've chosen a battle you cannot win. Dwergar, this true soul has betrayed us. Let their blood prove your devotion. Hmm. Trying to think here, what's the best course of action? And then... Okay. Nice. Starion. Not that. Oh. Hmm. Munch, munch. Yeah. Why is it always a Starian? Leave my boy alone. No. Carlac. Wait, now why aren't they? Hold on. Coerced. Oh, cool. Thanks. You actually just helped. <laughs> We're gonna frenzy, baby. Um. Go after this guy. I was about to say. Cool, 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 cool. Oh my gosh, of course, Shadow Hearts like last in the initiative. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work the first time, so I had to try it again. No, every time. Are you serious? <laughs> Mother trucker. <gasps> what the? Bruh. I mean, 
reinforcements. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> I still love you, Starion. <laughs> That's funny. No, not dissident whispers. They're literally just hurting themselves. <laughs> oh. Oh. Everything can throw at you. No. Wait. Oh, they're level five. The hell? Good lord. Poison resistance. Screw it, we go into chronic. Yep. That's it's not much, but it's something. You missed, I'm not surprised. Go up here. Oh, bruh. I'm on the very edge. Boo! That's never worked the or that didn't work on a Starion. <clears throat> oh my lord, why is it What is going on with her?
Bro, you had a 78% chance to hit and you missed. I hate spiritual weapon, dude. It sucks so bad. And then over here. Let's just do that. No, Carlac. Man, these guys are rolling like garbage. Um, what did she? Oh, does she still? She still has shattered and. Uh, frenzied strain. What's that from? Oh, because she did a frenzied thing. Fudge it. We're going straight for near. Yeah. Taking a chance here. Yeah. That a girl car lag. Holy shit. She just did like 50 damage. 27 and 27, so. Yeah, 54 damage. <laughs> wait. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. Wait. Is that all from... Yeah. <laughs> she did like 80 damage. 54 is a 6. Uh, 70. Yeah, she did 78 damage. Or 76 damage. Good lord, Carlac. <laughs> no, not again. <laughs> Love you, Starian. Oh, of course they're all hiding tactically enough that I can't hit them. They suck. Jeez. Um. Oh yeah, he doesn't have an action. Well. Hard up, and then ah, shit. I can't get it over to her. Easy. Oh, 
I didn't want her to end her frenzy. Man! They really said this man's mind is weak. <laughs> that didn't do a whole lot, but... Fuck you, I hate this stupid thing. Get out of here. I'm gonna try anyway. <laughs> oh no, they finally ensnared him. Oh, I forgot you were up there. Oh, Shadowheart. Using the freaking gnomes to. That's it. Oh! Time for some bloody work. Oh no. Flying by the seat of her pants right now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think here. The six damage. here and stop being a wimp. Who do you even have Hunter's Mark? Oh, Shadow Heart. Um, pick up Shadow Heart. really no reason to do that because uh she's gonna yeah oh no nope. there she goes <sighs> she doesn't have her axe this would be a lot easier if she had her axe oh there we go oh nice concentration broken It's all right, I got this. Beat his ass over. Yeah. 
lies in that lithid parasite in that corpse. You should take a look. Why? Okay, no. They should all be leveled up. Peldrum, are you alright? Lanko. Better now. No, no. Good. When Nick. Come in, Starian. When Nick. I'll get you right in no time. Cool, we. That was a fight right there. See what new horror is waiting for us. <laughs> That's the truth. Please. Okay. Level up. strikes your unarmored attacks count or unarmed attacks count as magical for the purpose of overcoming enemies resistance and immunity to non-magical damage Ooh. what is their movement now in movement from screen speed increased by 4.5 meters i have seven key points clench of the north wind Embrace of the Inferno, Gong of the Summit. Why does that do so bad? Oh, Fist of Unbroken Air is probably what it should do, actually. heals you as well. Ooh, when you cast a healing spell of level one or higher on another creature, you gain hit points equal to two plus the spell's level. Got another channel divinity. And another spell slot. Recording, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Or... Hate spiritual weapon, I'm not doing it. Enhance ability. I'm gonna be real, level two spells are not that great for clerics. Maybe do silence? I'll do silence. I don't know how often I'll use it because I'll probably forget I have it, but... Ooh, she got another rage. Mindless rage. Your rage becomes all-consuming, repelling outside influence. While frenzied, you can't be charmed or frightened, and calm emotions no longer ends your rage. Holy shit. So once she frenzies, she is like... She's insane. So actually, that ring that I just gave her from Omelum doesn't even matter. Because she's got... 
what, five rage charges now? No, four. I think she's got four rage charges. So essentially, every time I go into a big battle, I just frenzy her, and then she can't be charm frightened. Dude, the char the frightened thing? That's so good, because that'll work so well in the other acts. That's awesome. And then, and then uh, calm motions, which people don't really use anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. But that calm, or that charmed and frightened thing is big. That's awesome. Um. You're covered in dust. Um. Damn, it's good to be Wait. alive. <laughs> Damn, yeah, it's good to be alive. Do that. I'm your husband. It's my job. Aww. Go ahead and loot these guys, but I don't think it's really worth it. Heldron, are you all right? Monk. Better now than I'm. God. One near. One near. Wait, was that everybody? Okay, everybody except for down here. That's something I want to know. I wonder if uh, everybody will be uh, aggressive when I go out there. Not, not that it matters, I'm gonna end up killing them all anyway, but you know. Look at the start at Ilvir being matching with their... their HP. I think the next, uh... the next feat might have, um... Shadowheart take something to either ability score improvement or a durable to increase her... Well, actually... Because there is the feat that it's... See, but... Why would you have somebody take the feat that has them increase two hit points per, le per level if you could just increase their constitution with, like, an ability score improvement? That doesn't make any sense to me. At least... At least some of us are safe. Praise Iron Hand. If only there were more blessings to count. Deep Delver inflicts... Oh, that's how she got shattered. Does a car lax so she has more things to throw. The clan's gone soft, maybe even me. No way around it. I spent ten tides of the dark lake with my head bowed to the exile. I spent twenty tides with pick and shovel in hand, mining for steel in Dunsparen. And for seven tides I stood motionless between the rock the block stones till the soldiers released me. I was forged in Lodiger's fires. I learned to toil without complaint, to expect no reward without effort. Lodiger is a taskmaster. We are his workers. This is our way. Fifty wet seasons have passed since the builders refused to admit me. For forty of them, Thryn would have lifted mountains herself if Lodiger willed it. Now she canes slaves at the behest of this drow and his so-called absolute. 
Magmar will drown in that ale of his, if the night terrors don't claim him first. And me, I'll toil for the exile. But till I see a mountain of coin, I won't lift a damn finger for Thren or that shit grinned near she's been fawning over. Combat when the wearer starts their turn with 50 points of light hand points unless they gain wrath for two two turns. Um, I don't know. Would that be worth giving to Carlac? Because I mean, she just leveled up, so she's got that crazy rage now. I mean, she doesn't have a helmet, so what what does it do? Oh, plus one, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give that to her. That is the ugliest looking helmet I've ever seen in my life. Most of the helmets in this game are not very nice looking. So, I just hide most of them. Beldron! I was so worried! Didn't it hurt you? No, no, I'm alright. Did the sergeant hurt you? Oh, who cares? We're together now, thank Iron Hand. <laughs> we ought to thank someone a little closer by, I think. Gerdel Iron Hand, you may not be, but you damn well fight like him. I'm grateful, don't mistake me, but why help us? You're one of them, aren't you? Look at them! Oh my gosh, they look like such a- they got like the hero pose going on, the, like the three-quarters turn. The cult thinks it owns me. I beg to differ. That didn't much look like begging, but no complaints from me. Here, the Iron Hand gnomes honor their debts. With Wolverine gone, that falls to me. Wait, Wolverine died? Make it quick. We need to find Oh, Wolverine. wait, no. Now, <laughs> you're a little late, Barkus, my lad. He's already been sent to Moonrise Towers. We were just slave hands to the cult, but not Wolverine. He knows things. Things they want to know, too. What has he gotten himself mixed up in now? <laughs> Whatever the cult wants, I want the opposite. We need to free your friend. You really would, wouldn't you? But not us. My people can barely stand, and we have business back in the city. Business is what sent us after the powder to begin with. Now, we'll have to make other arrangements. And just like that, you'd leave Walbrin behind? I knew you lot were foolish, but I didn't know you were cruel. If you knew half as much as you think, my lad, Walbrin might have kept you around. If my ma my path takes me to Moonrise, obviously it does. <laughs> Enough. Bickering won't save your friend. And neither will this twit, apparently. My people will find somewhere to regroup across the lake. Then, on to the city. If you find yourself in Baldur's Gate, seek us out. We'll raise a glass to Walbrun together. All right. The 
today? No, no. Yeah. Oh, Myrna's the one that got thrown in the lake. Oopsie. Um, I don't think I have actually anything in here, but I will run through there eventually. Why can't I reach it exactly? Okay. Uh, I was about to say Nier's weak. Cultists are trying to find an ancient temple, but the bridge has been destroyed. If we find another way in, we might discover what happened in the dark just this year. I wonder if I can still go over and talk to Philomene. Look at that. This is what I mean. Like, that looks so pretty. Is that mithril? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All the things when I saw you. Oh, all the things when I saw you. Oops. Okay. lies before you remove its head oh well so what Decapitated the corpse before. <laughs> uh, what a waste. You finish resting the head from the drow's twisted neck. Dude, look at all the blood on them. It could have been you. I can't bear to think about this. There they are. Next one up. Sort of screams. Dagger. A thousand gold? Okay. Thanks, sweet cheeks. Uh, send that to Astarian. Oh, a dagger. I can have him. Covered in dust. Oh. Wait, what a day. What a day. So now I can switch out this and give him these. That way he still has his misty stuff. Yeah, I'll give that to Will. Okay, I don't know who to give this to. Maybe Shadow? No. What nickels does Ilvir have right now? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna give them that. <laughs> Not that they really need it, because, you know, 
They can run all over the place. Maybe I'll give it to Carlac. Because her movement kind of sucks. Actually, speaking of movement, I want to see what theirs is. 18 meters is their movement. Everybody else's is like 9. <laughs> Carlac looks like it's 12. Yeah. 18 meters is crazy, dude! I'm still not sure. Um... Do 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 Mm, nobody's even proficient with us. I don't th with war picks. I don't think. Not that it matters because they do shit or damage. Um. They don't really need that, so I'm gonna do that. Okay. And these things have stayed interesting. Some that someone Nina and Ricky. Did they? Well, you did it. You're free. Go on. Free? Y yes. As you know, some of the Iron Hand gnomes, my friend Walbrin among them, have been taken friend. prisoner in Moonrise Towers. They're not even going after him. I wish I was surprised. And so, to Moonrise Towers I go. of his mind. I believe I'm destined for the towers as well. I'll look for your friends. Friend. Singular. I'm looking for Wolverine. If anyone else should be incidentally helped, then bully for them. I'm sensing a bit of history here. It isn't personal. No one likes the Iron Hand gnomes except the Iron Hand gnomes. Why don't you rest in my camp before your next big move? Certainly not. In case you haven't been paying attention, my friend has been taken captive. He needs me. <laughs> I suspect they'll be rescuing you a third time, then. Huh. I was unlucky twice. The odds of it happening again are very slim. Then again, a small rest might be prudent. Uh, give me time to think. Hmm. <laughs> Fool me. Mm. Okay. Fine. Show me where to go and I'll try my luck. I'll have a better chance of rescuing Walbrin if I'm at my best. And, um, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, I'm a moron. <laughs> Why did he run over here? It's fine. Summer it doesn't matter. Was over in a flash. They're at peace now. Oh. Praise Iron Hand. Praise Iron Hand. I can't bear to think about it. We don't need to. We're together. That's what it is. Oh, I've still got 874. 
gosh, I love Shar Temples. They're so pretty, dude. Actually, I kind of want to go over there and try and talk to uh, Philamine. Because I feel weird missing out on that. Better now than I'm with you. God, don't drop me. Wow. Wait, is everybody gone? Oh. Huh. Okay, um... Wait, are they still down here? Huh? Oh, they're over here now. Okay. They're all gone. Huh. Ah! <laughs> Dead drow publicly displayed. The Dwergar are sending a message. Even the spiders are gone. Oh man, that means Philomena is probably gone. Wait. Excuse me, Garlack. Shit! You did it! What now? Belgian is taking the others across the lake. Wait for them there. Eldrin's safe, then. Thank God, in hand. I'll make my way over. Won't be needing this poison now that you've off the pricks. Bet you'll find it handy, though. You're a good one. I won't forget it. Oh, look. More wyvern toxin. As bad as it could have. If Philomene's not here, I'm gonna be real sad. Something over there. <laughs> I'm way too big. What? 
Ooh, blight. That's a good one. Hmm, I'll take that. More smoke powder satchels. Don't know if I'm ever gonna use them, but you know. Might as well take them. Eagles of Farian 6, the cheerful deep. Gnome. Deep in the Underdark lived Doyle, a plucky deep a plucky deep gnome slave. Day and night, he and his brother toiled for five Dragar Smiths, mining iron and mithril until their arms ached and their eyes eyes burned. Faster cried the Dragar, and faster Doyle would dig, even into the night while his master slept, smiling all the while. How can you smile while we slave? asked the brother. Because I wish our masters much, much success, was Doyle's reply. Words of the Dwegar's quality weapons and armor quickly spread. To meet demand, the Dwegar brought in more slaves and began to forge and stockpile their wares at the dig site. Yet Doyle dug harder than ever, his wide grin never faltering. Soon the Dwegar's operation grew so great that they commanded twenty deep known slaves. The day the twenty first came, Doyle laughed and whooped so loud, his Dwegar captors sought silence in a nearby grotto. The savers returned to find Do Doyle and his fellow deep gnomes clad in robust mithril armor and carrying mighty iron weapons, all taken from the slaver's stockpile. The five Dwegar fell quickly, for they were no match for twenty-one armed deep noves. In Doyle, he never saw smiling. Beneath the fable, an incensed reader has written a brief review. Garbage! This is where the gnomes are getting bright ideas. Anyhow, I don't get it. The lesson makes no damn sense. That's what I figured. <laughs> Starion. Oh my. That's okay, it's so fast. Man. That's for sure. How is that pot? Oh, like how is that pot on fire? That might be worth a look. Why? Right, thank you, Starion. Hard save here. Sometimes the game doesn't like it when I save. I smell a trap. Oh. Oh, 
Oh yeah, hit that crit, baby. Oh yeah. You got the shadow heart. Nope. <laughs> Fuck yes. Down the hatch. Down the hatch. Covered. Oh, come on. I hate when it's like that. to do well Finish them off, Astarian. Yeah. Ooh, trap disarm type of holes and a thick rope. Someone climbed up from down below. Oh. Wait, what? There's a wall there. that before I love the soundtrack right now. I don't know if I've ever actually listened to it.
I don't think I have any that need to combine. No. Oh, that's right, yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> Cosm Creeper. Oh no, she's gone. Man, that sucks. Journal. Day one. Never saw a beast like it. Bloated with muscle, tusks as long as my arms. Scent of charred flesh, but I saw no flames. The stone might have been parchment. So quick did the creature charge through it. The other just his ears are dead, or close to it. It wasn't alone. Hell Knights, too. Masks bolted to their faces like black suit. A keeple. Dude. <laughs> Selvin just jump scared me. Started playing his outro music. <laughs> I'm like, oh! I knew it was coming, but it scared me. <laughs> Day three. Trapped another rampage. Trapped another rampage, and down the walls came. Started to dig. Not sure. Day seven. It's done. May Shara's shadows keep me. Both the top and bottom of this tablet are uneven, and its writings begin and end mid-sentence. It's a day... It's a ten day, and the Lady of the Lost shall know you. The law of nightfall, from the moon falls the foulest of lights. It peeks through cracks and fissures, eliminating the most remote recesses of the Underdark. Light bestows hope, a pernicious notion which must be extinguished. At the darkest hour, pray to your lady and feast in her honor. The second day after, slay a disciple of Saluna. If none may be found, a Lethan Lethandarian or Mr. are an acceptable offering. This is once a ten day, and the Lady of the Lost shall know you. The L. The inscription ends here. Seems simple enough. This fragment appears to be part of a larger stone slab. The top edge is clearly hewn, but the bottom is jagged. Such a shard to meet Catherick Thorm. It was Lord Ao who created chaos. It was from chaos that I formed, and it is I who anoint you, my paladin. From this day forth, let my laws be known. Law of Secrets. What is a secret but truth cast into darkness? Lurk in the shadows and listen for hushed words. The softer a thought spoke, the more power it contains. The more discord it sows, the more scars it may carve. If a man brags of affairs, carries words to his wife. If a daughter steals from her father, whisper the truth. The deceived turn to Shar. Cuckolds find silence or solace to shadow. Do this, oh. The inscription ends here. At the bottom edge is smooth, the jagged edge at the top of the tablet reveals it was broken away from a larger slab. Its inscriptions begin at mid-sentence. All of abeyance, the word of Kether Thorm is the word of Shar. You shall put no god nor mortal before him. You shall question him in neither word nor deed. When the sun has fallen and the moon is new, bow your head in prayer. Reclaim your devotion to Shar and her paladin Kether Thorm. Promise your soul in flesh and, fe and seek no fortune nor favor. When your prayer is finished, speak thus. Mr. Shar, I've glorified your name. Master Thorm, I have cried out your word. I am your servant forevermore. So said Shar to me, Catholic Thorm. So it is decreed, and so it is done. Wield the power of secret. Where light shines, extinguish it. Heed the word of your mistress and master. Do this, and the Lady of Lost shall know you. Man, 
mean, I'm sad that Philomene's gone. Mm, Grimforge. Phantasmal killer. Dude, I need to start just using scrolls. Binding in this book is thicker than in its combined pages, which are surprisingly devoid of detail. We know little of the ones that came before, but we know they worship the Lady of Loss. We know they constructed the Great Fortress and named. The next few words are smeared and illegible. F but from whence they came and why they departed, this is a mystery even to Cather Thorpe himself. What we do know is that Shard's Chosen has heard her call, just as Grimforge served her mistress 800 years nigh, so it would again. Here, Thorpe's dark sisters shall rise. Here we will fulfill our goddess pact. Here we will rebuild the lost city of Grimforge. So far will our shadows, sp our shadows spread, and so dark will they be that Saluna's light may be forever extinguished. I don't think there's anything worth really looting down here. map of Grimforge, drawn by hand yet highly detailed. Points of interest are marked with black X's aside from two, which are identified by bold red circles, one on each level of the fortress. The words hiding spot are written within the upper level upper level circle. The lower level circle is identified as smoke powder reserve. I keep thinking that I'm done with the Grim Forge because I'm so used to doing that part last, but I'm not. I still have to do the Adamantine Forge. <clears throat>
could easily fix that with a cardboard Ryan Gosling. <laughs> oh, this man. So I'll go back and then um, I'll probably go veg and then we can continue on to the adamantine forge. I'm sad that everybody disappeared. I kind of wanted to do, to fight some more deep gnomes or a dwarf, not deep gnomes. I say the deep gnomes. <laughs> I wish the, uh... I'm gonna go down there, but I'm- that's a fight, so I'm not gonna do it just yet. But, um... I wish the Dwegger that I can sell stuff to didn't, uh... disappear. <laughs> I hear, I hear the owl bear. <laughs> Somebody have anything? Oh, look, there's Barkus. Okay, I gotta go to the bathroom, so I'll be right back.
Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I always forget that I have that. It's fine. Yes, darling. Nothing. I'm just staring at the quality of your clothes because they're so pretty. The textures in this game are so gorgeous. What's on your mind? How can I help? You can't, apparently. I have something to ask. I thank you for the invitation to your camp. It's, um, well appointed, not too crowded, perfect for thinking. And I've been doing just that. What about? It's about Wolbrin. We know he's been taken to Moonrise Towers, and we know I'm going to save him. The problem is this. A preponderance of evidence that I am a terrible adventurer. I'm not sure I should trust Wilbrin's fate to, well, me. <laughs> I'm destined for Moonrise Towers. I could look for him. Hmm. You've done so much already. I'm hesitant to prevail upon you again, but I can't risk recapture. I barely escaped last time. You'd do it then. You'd look for him. I will. That's <clears throat> Ooh. very decent of you. Thank you. There's something else you should know. Something I can no longer ignore. Rune powder. Do you know what it is? Other than a valuable explosive? Perhaps not. Until very recently, I thought rune powder was a myth. A substance so powerful it could fell a city. A nation. The Iron Hand gnomes have proven the impossible. Rune powder is real. And they have it in their possession. What do they want to do with it? Destruction. The only thing it's good for. Destruction of what? Well, I'm hoping Wilbrin will be able to tell us. I shouldn't have let him drift away. Shouldn't have let that lock get their claws into him. Now more than ever, I need to find him. We need to find him. He's the only one I might be able to speak to sensibly. What can you tell me about Moonrise Towers? I haven't been there myself. Here. The area around it is, well, cursed. Terrifyingly so. I did hear something interesting, though. There are shades that plague the path to the towers. Shades that fear not steel, but light. Dwergar, who mentioned it, sounded truly traumatized. It was almost amusing. I don't work for free. Make me an offer. Find Wolbrin, and you can have anything it is within my power to give. Surprise me, but make it good. Ah, ha, ha. I know just the thing. You find Wolbrin, and I'll gather the necessary implements. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. 
Like what? Your smoke powder bombs. Are you an alchemist? Alchemist? Tinkerer? Adventurer? Curmudgeon? <laughs> I wear many hats. Most with great enthusiasm. Thank you for noticing. Tell me a little more about yourself. Barkus Root is my name. Boulder's Gate is my home. Back in the city, I offered my expertise to the highest bidder. I was quite popular, too. I'm not picky about my customers. What would you do if Wolverine is dead? I suppose I... I suppose I'd be very, very sad. Then, after a while, I'd find whoever killed him and put a smoke powder bomb in their trousers. Interesting. That's the first time. This is the first time that I've uh, brought him to camp. Speak. Your time is coming, Lazel. You gonna be joining my crew? Hope you're keeping well, friend. Oh, I'm sorry about what happened to your master. Master, friend. I stayed with him until until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him, but I'm glad to have met you. I love you, Scratch. I hope you know that. I would risk it all for you. Hello. You are not food. You are friend. You like it here, huh? Nice here. The caves smell like rotting meat. Goblin camp smells like goblins. Looks like I'm stuck with you. Yes, fun. Fuck, I threw that paper away. <sighs> More. Oh, they're chasing each other. Oh, <laughs> they're so cute. I love them. Well met. Okay. Lady of Sorrows, guide us. Did, Did you, you want, want something? something? I thought I'd talk to him. You wish to speak? No. Nothing to say. Oh, look at the magma. Wow. So pretty. Is it still giving me the owlbear egg? Isn't even. It's in the. Didn't I put that in the. Yeah, it's in there. Stop trying to get me to, to eat it.
Okay, um... Too smart for that. Interesting. I don't think I've ever succeeded that before. Oh, what? It mimic. It'll mimic. Let's do a good ol' inflict wounds. <laughs> you got this. Oh! Shadow Heart. Fine, go get him a star in. Thank you. There we go. That actually went really well. Little toy chest. Is that better than the one that might give? Oh, dragon sauce is better. After having a Saurian as my number two for so long now, you'd think that I would realize. Your armor class increases by one. In addition, you have bardic inspiration. If you have bardic inspiration, you gain one more use of it. It's trying to get me to play a bard. Let's see. It heard that I want that I thought about. A trap. Time to dance. It heard that I thought about uh making a sorry and a bard. Oh, 
That's not gonna work. It almost worked. How crazy is it that you can roll a three and still almost get a 20? Storm. Love Ice Storm is such a good. Uh, that's a fourth level, right? The first few inches of the scroll are written in formal elaborate script. To the Emerald Enclave and those deemed worthy to see this record, greetings from those who are. Know ye that the one known as Cuthric Thorn, Paladin Shar, is guilty of crimes against body and spirit. They include, but are not limited to, murder, slavery, and desecration of temples most holy. Let our intent be known, an alliance between the Harbors and the Emerald Enclave. United we may end Thorn's reign of terror. The High Harbors eagerly await your good word. Oh, so that is... Huh. So clearly that is what, um, what they sent to, or what Jahira and Halson sent to each other, or not each other, but Jahira sent to Halson, because the Emerald Enclave is, uh, the Halson's druidic whatever circle, or however you want to call it. Pretty cool. Okay. Should mind my step. <laughs> mm. I might get to the mountain pass today. I don't know. You ought to save. Oh my gosh. I love the scenery in this game. It's so gorgeous. I can't wait until I get to the mountain pass. The mountain pass is definitely my favorite scenery in the entirety of Act 1. And maybe even in general. Because the mountain pass is just so pretty. Singular gold. Something's off. Pure shadow. Around me. Inside me. That's neat. Come on. Oh my. 
Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? No. Actually, what am I at for approval? 73... 45. It is so hard to get Carlax approval up. I'm just not goody two shoes enough. <laughs> jumped right there the AI in this game makes me so angry not that it really matters at this point but ow 11 There has to be a way to get through that gate. And clearly I'm gonna have to lead with, the, with Astarian so that he can disarm all the traps because everybody's gonna walk on them, including himself. Why is it auto save way back here instead of like up at the top?
nat 20. I think I had a nat 20 at all today. This is the first one. Wait, no. I guess started with a nat 20, never mind. Or no. Maybe I'm confused. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Someone doesn't like visitors. Using all of my disarm tools because the AI in this game is stupid. I only have four. Be careful. There are traps about. Be careful. There are traps about. So it was still there. Okay. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Okay. Nobody else? Okay. There are traps around. Easy. This place is hungry for blood. So what if I just disarm it? This is like Shadow Heart. Oh, my Lord. Trap. 
traps. Like it matters. How considerate. The AI is gonna make me lose my mind. Why are you just standing in the fire? I'm so annoying. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Lock picking impossible. What's your name? I said, are we? Anybody that does bludgeoning, do I? Oh, wait. Ilgar does. Holy good lord. Still breathing, despite everything. Okay. Um, we're actually. Acid vulnerability. Shadow Heart has anything. Oh. Attacking the best defense. It's not gonna work, is it? Because it's you gotta stand on it. Ow. Ow. I just wasted a level three spell slot. I will get in there somehow. <sighs> this is annoying. Take one for the team. Or not. Why is that not working? Let's get going. Oh. Done it. <laughs> Starion. Oh nope, he's knocked down. <laughs> I <got> the <laughs> okay. Ah. 
Okay, hold on. Bruh. me I'm smarter than you we don't talk about the fact that I've had to use both of my rests time to see what new horrors waiting for us oh an article of Char room for more. An idol of Lady Shaw. It cannot be a coincidence that I found this. All these signs of a Sharon presence. Dark Justicius. May the darkness protect you. I found this idol of Shar. Here, perhaps you might want it. You... You thought of me. Thank you. It's beautiful. I'll find a place of honor for it in camp. Nobody's ever given me anything before. What do I owe you in return? I'll settle for a thank you. Well, in that case, thank you. I'll always think of you when I look upon it. After I think of Lady Shah, of course. I wonder... Perhaps this is connected to the Dark Justicias. This is no coincidence, I'm sure of it. I need to keep an eye out for more signs. Learn more about the Justicias' presence in these lands. It could be important. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I wish to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. Hmm. If dark justicias were once a power around here, all signs suggest the time is long past. All signs we've encountered so far, perhaps. I'll be keeping my eyes peeled going forward. Fine. What's on your mind? How are you holding up? Okay. Don't be so modest. I can't remember the last time I met someone like you. Perhaps I never did. And never will again. Plus one in spell save, DC. The wearer has a plus one bonus to armor class and saving throws as long as they have lightning charges. Um, I'll give that to Gale. Now I need to buy something that gives you lightning charges.
Shah's blessings upon you. One day I'll catch a break. Hello, beautiful. What's on your mind? Nobody got nothing for me. Let's say. <laughs> Conversation. Prints. That's worth a look. Bloody tracks. Quite small too. A gnome found some trouble here. Oh gnome. Bloody tracks. Quite small too. A gnome found some trouble here. Poor gnome.
Those chains are massive. I've never noticed them because I just kind of ignore them. Gosh, because of those stupid traps, I'm gonna have to take a nap before we get actually down to the grim or down to the forge. I'm so upsetty. Right tool will do the trick. Right tool will do the trick. Oh, Mar. Sorry, Ed. Keep your distance, darling. Keep your distance, darling. See, I just can't- I can't say darling with a British accent. Sounds wrong. <laughs> Foolish does not know the English language. but that's way too long. My knuckles are so itchy today. I don't know why. Come on. Why? Wanna listen today? Pick up all these keys, half of them I don't even know what they do or what they're for. Oh wait. Shield mold. Mm. Still mold. Used in forges to cast armor and weapons. Thanks, I didn't know what a mold was for. <laughs> this is why Ilvir's like the snottiest character ever. Canticles of the Dark Mistress. Let shadow fall where the, the light doth creep, and silence cloak the din. Let blackness in a lost hard seep, and bitter lady in. Behold, Shar who shades our path. Behold, Shar from Aeoborn. Behold, Shar the primal dark, our goddess of night behold. Hmm. 
Well, we're gonna do this with uh, three out of the four of us only having half of our health. Surely it can only go well. are so good. Oh, bro. These things don't even stand a chance. Oh, well, if I critical miss, maybe they do. And, well, in it. Now, why is it like bad if I? I still never understood the point of taking these. I'd love to. Thanks. What? Oh, I'd love to. Thanks. I thought she said was saying something about being a lefty. I'm like, what, girl? What are you going on about? I don't get that. So why is it st technically stealing if you loot the Hellport, but it's okay if you loot the Maragon Legionnaire? Tell me how that makes sense. I'm also confused as to why they're just chilling in here. Like, why are you just chilling in a locked door in here? Anybody is proficient in hand crossbows. Wait, no, Shadowheart is. Does that do better damage? No, that's 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 a sorry. Oh, he is prof he's proficient in.
See, I like a star in using longbows though. So Wait, I thought Shadowheart was proficient with hand crossbows. Wait, no she's not, because I tried to give her yogurts before and it didn't work. And these things have stayed interesting. What now? <laughs> what now? I... Oh, the... Yeah, no, because the... The, uh... I've got a long road ahead. Whatever, the... The range is... I mean, it's only three meters, but... Alright, that's everything in here. didn't take any damage from that fight. I don't think a Starion did. Shadowheart only took damage because she got thrown off a cliff and Elvira was on the front lines. So that's why they took damage. The bodies. Map of Moonhaven? This map offers a detailed plan to attack the village of Moonhaven, encouraging soldiers to kill in merciless silence. Wait, what? So was it the... Hold on. Is this a new map or an old map? Because if this is an old map, that means that the Sharans are the ones that killed Moon Moonhaven. And it was abandoned until the Absolute came and the goblins took it over? Or was it... <clears throat> yeah, it has to be. Because it wouldn't make sense if it was the... If it was the Absolute that came here What? In the beginning came morning, then night. Two sisters clashed. One dark, and one light. Huh. <clears throat> Scimitar. I don't think anybody in my party is even proficient in scimitars. So I have a shield and a scimitar so far. The, all the companions in this game, I think the only one that is actually proficient in scimitars is Jahira. Longsword. So I have, yeah, shield, longsword, and scimitar. Dude, I have like 5,000 gold. <laughs> it's not even Act 2 yet, I've got 5,000 gold. And I have a bunch of stuff to sell. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, Carlac, thank you. Coming to my rescue. Shadow Heart, thank you. <laughs> Praise be to the Lady of Lost. She has her sister Ansar brought brother taught Brother Silla of the true nature of our lives, that they are lost and nothing but loss. Through that sorrowful lesson, he has turned from his fame and following and, follow and come to us into the Lady's loving embrace. But he has not left everything behind. The man once known as Silla of Yali brought brings with him his miracles of me metallurgy. His dark alloy this dark alloy adamantine will let us spread the dark lady's will with new fervor. Forge your blade in the fires and raise it in the mistress's name. Sources. Nearby mithril veins are nearly deplete are near depletion and the quantities required for Brother Silla's most recent project were considerable. Some of the acolytes have, have taken to calling it grim for the place it was made, though never went the Brother Silla's hearing. Um plus one is saving throws and attack, constitution saving throws plus one. The only one that I could give that to well, I could give it to Carlac or I could give it to Shadow Heart. But I like who was it? Shadow Heart has right now. Tome details the scientific and arcane principles behind the Great Forge's construction. The results of multiple experiments are explained in exhausting detail. Hammer test 2.5.66.8. The, fu the forge is functional, but operating at a scant one third of its full potential. At current fractalization values, the hammer can force various iron alloys into molds, but adamantine remains unmoved and unmarked, increasing levels of hypotorque to 6.94, doubling magma heat values. 
Hammer test 2.6.70.0. Test unsuccessful. So hot was the bagman that the adamantine shattered entirely under the force of the hammer. The properties of superheated adamantine are intriguing, but I seek to mold it, not to crush it. Maintaining hypo torque levels, reducing magma heat values by one fifth. Is the, that is the question. Do I do that fight or do I wait until... I think we risk it. I have Shadow Heart. Exactamente donde están. Scale medium. Okay. You saved, you suck. Oh, well, I should have patient defense. Dang, nabbit. Well, that was a waste. Guiding bolt, nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was even with advantage. Critical miss. Deflect missiles. Yeah. Well, that was an interesting. Silvers. Hold 
Hold on. Dude, he just did 29 damage on that guy. See you later, punk. stop. There you go. <laughs> Bro, you are ranged attacking from three, three inches away. <laughs> okay. All right, Astarian. So we're weak, or like just doing a few things. There it is, the Adamantine Forge. We're actually almost done with the Grimforge What's already. A pearl! Okay. Let's go bench here. What are you doing over here? I'll soon be off to gather your compensation. With your track record, I'm sure you'll find Wolverine in no time. So, I'll be quick. Okay. It's Dude. always a pleasure to see you <laughs> sauntering over. <laughs> You're like... Good lord. What a power couple. You're like covered in dirt and blood. Eelvir's covered in dirt and blood. 
Nothing better. <laughs> I like my couples Couple covered your in blood. <laughs> What is going on with my camera? Oh, speak. it's. There we go. I'm like, why is it so tiny? It's because that's. <laughs> zoomed out for some reason. What's on your mind? Nothing. Dude, the fact that I'm holding four molds and I still don't have- or I'm still not over encumbered is crazy. I have almost 5300 gold. It's wild. <gasps> She's playing Rublix! Well met. Lady of Sorrows, guide us. Did you want something? She is covered in dirt. Okay, well. <laughs> what are you guys doing over here? Scratch his tail, wags enthusiastically. Kitty patootie. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. You're so cute, I love you. You're the goodest boy. Don't listen to what Astarian says, you're the goodest boy. Camp life seems to suit the young owl there. His coat of feathers seems fuller, his eyes look bright and inquisitive. Okay. Better not be cursed. Better not be cursed. No, stop trying to get me to eat the owlbear egg. Gosh, I'm so ready to get to the new act so I can start getting new camp cutscenes. Oh my... Another place that you could get mithril from, also. So definitely doing the medium mold. And then she 
uh, Carlax got the mace and the heavy mold. I'm gonna look it up because I'm pretty sure that you can get two. Okay, yeah, there is two spots. Get down there. <laughs> I did miss that face, you know. I love you. Sorry. <laughs> just drop the L word just like that. Oh no! Magma method. Ellie. No! Okay, good, he saved. I'm just like con confused, so I'm like, whose turn is it right now? <laughs> Fudge it, we go necrotic. Bro, you got 2 HP right now. thing or the sweet bloodthirsty friend thing oh dude this is awful <laughs> Going all the way around. 
down just to hit something behind you. so much stuff to sell. Worshippers of Registry of Proud Followers are greeted by your loyal paladin, Kelter Thorm. Pages upon pages of names fill this book. Some are early nicknames, others consist of multiple noble titles. All of them are scratched out and annotated with no longer. This will be interesting. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Um, what goes in the crucible? Oh, no, 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 I know. Um, be the one that gets smashed by the hammer. Okay, so I'm trying to think where everybody should be. So... Over here. Or no. Over here. Shadow hard. No use. It's blocked. There. Carlac. Over Ball there. Ball. And a Starion. Over the. Oops. 
Watch your back. It's right over here. Obviously, that's gonna be changed because. Well, no. Oh gosh. Lord, get out of there! The Starian! Bro, get out of there! Never heard this tune before. Uh, I'm pretty sure he has a resistance to everything. Bludgeoning vulnerability. How 
how I've missed hearing him say that. Shadowheart, <laughs> you might begin your wish, dear. <laughs> Kill Shadow Heart. exactly what I want to happen. Oh, well, Shadowheart's dead. Okay. 
beautiful death. Well, I done screwed this up. Companions dying. <laughs> oh my lord! I'm so sorry. Oh wait, what am I doing? I should have. Oh. All right. What now? She's got revivify. What am I doing? Come on. Why is it so hard to revive? No way. There we go. Why are you way over there? Interesting fight. Um, I actually think I'm gonna give that. Well, I know. I don't have to go to Lazel. She's the only one that can actually wear heavy armor. Dude, I'm doing a lot of stuff for Lazel right now. armor class. I think the one that Carla has right now is 15, right? Yeah. Um. I actually think I'm gonna give that to Carlac. And then give this to Shadowheart. have to dye the uh, the armor okay and then um, I'll try to forget it do my do logo I don't know if I want to do the long sword or if I want to do the heavy armor. Because I think. What armor does Lazel have? Armor has. Or Lazel has 17.
Okay. I figured that the the armors would be the way to go, but I thought that I would hey, good looking. Uh, look it up just in case. Are you serious? Oh, okay. but oh well blood everywhere. Everybody jump. Wait for the lava to go down. Okay, they're just apparently impervious to lava in that moment. Come on, keep walking. for your thoughts? No, I have no thoughts. All, uncom all incoming damage is reduced by two. When a melee attack hits you, the attacker is sent reeling for three turns. Sheesh, okay. Armor class 18. Okay. Actually, can you sell these? Oh, it's not even worth selling them. Okay, I think. Oh, wait, we gotta do the sentient amulet. And then after that, I believe we are done at the Grimforge. Or at Grimforge. get out of here. How do I get out of here? <laughs> I guess I have to use the thingy. Aren't you? 
I love his little quips. Save here because he's only got one HP. jump in over the hot stuff that will kill you so what do you do you walk in the hot stuff that will kill you to go over the hot stuff that will kill you I swear maybe it was my error and I had him jump in too far but that's still dumb Carefully. Listen to your own words, Starian. Annoying. Starring can get back. He's gonna have to use the, uh, whatchamacallit, the waypoint. starts doing an action like that I can't stop him this is the hardest moment that I've had in this game so far and it's because this mo this freaking this part just sucks
Dude, I don't want to think about the fact that I'm going to have to go right back after this. Actually, no, I'm not. Because I'm just going to use the, the teleport. Or the waypoint. And then my life will be easy. What's happening? What are you doing the here? to laugh intensifies. Talking jewelry. That's hilarious. Enjoy. Forbidden knowledge. Oh. That's cool. The laugh urge fades. A quiet power spreads from hand to hand. Thou hast done well. For what is a laugh if not one step toward madness? <laughs> Ghost, what happened to you? A ghost? Ha <laughs> I have sunlight on water, chew on glass. Sharon's broke my body, but my spirit they could yeah. not. Well, not completely. <laughs> <laughs> Thou shalt return me home. It is written. Using your spiritual 
using the spiritual energy in the amulet, you restore two key points. Ooh. That's nice. And shatter. is heavy. Suddenly the metals ah, and thou endure. The urge to laugh intensifies. Endure. You observe the urge to laugh from afar, letting it fade with each breath. Thou hast done well. For what is a laugh if not one step toward madness? <laughs> Thou art the wonder. Return me, take me home, and thou shalt glow with blessings. The Sharon's torment. We've already that heard this. Tainted. Better to leave it than bear a dead man's grudges. of the dawning sun. You recognize the symbol. That's what I thought. It belongs to those sworn to Lathander, god of dawn and renewal. Whatever madness the spirit suffers was inflicted by Lathander's enemies followers of Shah, and this madness may flow into you. Beneath the rampant joy you sense the monk's fear and sincerity, he doesn't wish to harm you. That doesn't mean he won't. Okay. I shall walk with you. I shall grant you my power. <laughs> you feel a chuckle coming on, but it soon fades. Okay. Thanks, boss. We'll be looking a lot worse if not built from the fence. 
Same as us, I expect. Let's do that. <clears throat> oh! Hi, everybody! The Mykonids are trying to help, but I keep seeing my friends in Moonrise screaming. Freedom. I've forgotten how it felt. Thank you. Thanks again for offing that drow. Only made it here because of you. But I can't stop thinking about the rest of us. Stuck in Moonrise with a bunch of sadists. Poor bastards. I don't know Seems half like of what they're saying. You saved my skin. But there's more bastards out there. For everyone you kill, pint on me. No need for me to ask how you fared. Some of my kin have already made it here, safe and sound. It's past time we were back in the city. But if you find yourself there, call on us. The Iron Hand Gnomes are good friends to have. Your leader is still locked up in Moonrise Towers. Aye. I heard about Walbrun. But the cause is bigger than any one of us. You've made sure his work is done, even if he's not there to see it. He'd be grateful. A little more rest, and I'll be ready to get out of here. Oh. I don't know half of what they're saying. That's good. But at least they're peaceful. Shit. Still can't believe you got me out of there. Sorry I told you to piss off. What is could use a stiff drink if I'm being a... Somehow you look worse Glitchy. than last I saw you. Peace bringer. Be at home. I've brought you near his head. Near his head. Gosh. There it is. The drow sword to shatter our circle. Now his flesh may feed its growth. In dealing death, you have brought this circle life, and thus we name you Life Chanter. is to your liking. Okay. This man's about to be so broke. Just in case, because I don't know if Lazelle has a necklace. Or I might give that to Minthara. I don't know yet. Oh, I love the music. Oh, it's so pretty. You know what? 
I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna send it to camp because Minthara might be able to use it if I get her. And if I don't, then I'll just sell it to somebody along the way. Oh, the music's gone. No more pretty music. Those. Don't need those anymore. Don't need that. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Okay, yeah, I know I don't need to keep that. to catalog. Bye, Blurg. You're a homie for real. So many minds connected. What could they accomplish? Okay. I think... I just have to go to Moonrise. Which I gotta do, uh... The crush first. Little worms crossing, reach the ancient temple. Rescue Wolverin, rescue the Grand Duke. Myself. I'll happily take you if we survive this bug's banquet. This is what I mean. Mm, sounds good. I've always been curious what a patriarchal looks like. <laughs> They're so siblings. I love them. I'll happily take you. Gosh, I feel like it's been eons since I've been in this village. I need to get a great sword. Dang, nabbit. Going back to the Underdark real quick. <clears throat> I don't think it's worth getting the... Oh, wait. sleeping potion. That's vigilance. No, I don't have a... How delicious. How delicious. Got to press on. How do you get up there?
Oh, the Minotaur's still here. It's a great sword is over here. Better fetch that. Wait, what happened to the other? What? It says there's two, so why does it only... Never mind, I'm just dumb. can do it. No shot. Okay, so clearly, get me back down there.
What do you mean path is interrupted? Bruh. Sorry, and you can do it. <laughs> he said, Yeah, no, not doing it. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. There we go. Elixir of Bloodlust. I haven't found any of those yet. To this is for Ilvir. Bruh. <laughs> oh. When the wearer deals radiant damage, they cause a radiant shockwave. The only person that's gonna be dealing sh radiant damage is a cleric or a paladin. Which I don't need that for. To what I was originally doing before I got so rudely interrupted. I gotta go to camp. I'd better take a peek. Oh, while I'm here, I'm gonna play a little game called uh, Let's Die This Armor. <laughs> Yeah. 
Ocean. Okay, um... This is probably not gonna change anything. Ooh! I like that. Okay. Leave camp. supposed to do oh I'm a little special now I need to add a great sword sickle or a dagger it's always a pleasure to see you sauntering over bro I'm not talking to you Oh my lord, I'm so dumb. Dude, I have to walk across the halfway across the country to get to the mountain pass now. Why is there not a waypoint at Joaquin's Rest? Because now I have to sprint so far to get over there. I actually probably would have been better off just to go outside the Blighted Village and just walk from there. Actually, I definitely would have. I love that nothing right here is loading. Oh, I just gave Carlac her new armor. And I'm gonna have to leave her in camp. Because it's Lazelle time. Oh well. Sir, what? Marcus looks so out of place in this camp. Hey, bestie. Soldier. 
You need to stay really? here. Really? No, really? don't give me the pouty voice. Yes. No! <laughs> oh, come on. You don't mean that. I do. Oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. <laughs> I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. Oh, that's the... Darkness protect you. Hello, my sweet. Can you never stop calling me my sweet, please? I love it. I was about to say, I'm like, where's Lizelle? <laughs> Speak. You get to come with me. It is done. attack and then she gets dude she gets misty step for free that's crazy oh what feet do i want to give her I actually have zero clue what to give you. Girl, I don't know what to give you. Savage attacker, I guess. I need to give Carlax savage attacker. Actually, no, I don't. I need to give her something so that she's actually hitting stuff. Oh, yeah. No, definitely give her that. What's her base movement? Oh, her base movement's only nine? That gives your momentum. How long, or how much does momentum get for? Oh, it's only one and a half. She looks so good, dude. She looks awesome.
Why does she have a javelin? <laughs> oh, that was a loud sneeze. on your mind. I'll soon be off to get okay. <laughs> Scratch's tail wags enthusiastically. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily. His tail wagging even faster. So cute, I love them. Let's see what this does. Stop trying to get me to eat the owlbear egg. Stop it. She looks so good. I love that color. Oh, scratching. Scratching tin. The dog wags his tail, a small bag clenched between his teeth. What you got? He gives in and surrenders his find to you. Aw, what a good boy. Wow, look at how bright the sun is. I'm I've been in the underdark for so long I forgot Scratch what the sun looked like. Out happily, his tail wagging even faster. It's actually been so long since I've seen like proper colors. <laughs> Dude, they look so good. I love the green. It works so well. Girlie don't got boots, does she? No, she does not. Oh, I just sold boots too. I think I just sold... Oh wait, no, that's a cloak. Never mind. believe oh she's playing rublix that actually looks so good purple i like that it's very pretty i wish the metal was darker but it works huh. 
Hello, my sweet. So, have we buried the hatchet, Lazel? No. Why would I bury a weapon? Is it broken? It's a metaphor. I do not know your metaphor. But if you need help digging, I will find a shovel. <laughs> I have higher approval with Lazelle than I do with Carlac. Who I haven't had Lazelle with me since before I went to the Underdark. Like <laughs> that's so sad, dude. It's about to be sky high because I'm going into the crash. Oh, this is so bad. Oh my gosh, I forgot how pretty it was outside of the Underdark. Smoke. Something's burning. You, you mean to tell me that there was a waypoint? Literally on the other side? <laughs> I went all the way from the Risen Road. You mean to tell me I couldn't just walk three feet from the doorway when I was here before? <laughs> I'm taking a dive, dude. I'm on the ninth floor. <laughs> I'm so tempted to do it, but I know I'm gonna have to fight, so. These boots have seen everything. That was me on the ninth floor getting ready to jump. What? Where? Damn thing could blow out the oh. sun. You go a lifetime without seeing one, and then they won't stop pestering you. It would be too much to hope that's nothing to do with us, wouldn't it? I need to get this girl some real boots. <laughs> She's so armored up, and then she just got the dogs out. Also, I can't stop looking at it. Elevator or Elvira. The green is so vibrant. It's so pretty. I've only ever seen it muted because of the underdark. Um, hello. What are you doing? Hold up before they see you, my Gresham. I might have been concerned had I the slightest idea who they are. Look, down there. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. Unless you're looking for a fight, that is. Um, who are you? Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. Seems you have good survival instincts. Maybe you should join me instead. What? Just follow you around? I go my own way. Alone. Eesh. Rack. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Alright, see you later. 
Anything of use? Um, so the interesting thing about this moment is, um, with Alyris, I didn't find Lazel when we first crashed from the Nautiloid. So this is where I met her. And... Drop your weapons! What the... I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. What the bollocks? This I was trying to talk here. Chance. No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn! We merely sought to... No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. A red dragon. I envy its knight. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. Um... And we'll just pat the dragon on the head, I suppose. The dragons serve Githyanki. I'll see it does you no harm. Follow me. We are close to the cure we seek. Uh, anyway. Wait, what? Girly, I'm trying to talk here and you're just rushing into battle. we must speak. Hold up. Time is short. Lead me to... Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding. For I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. Okay, hold on. So, as I was saying before, so rudely interrupted twice. Um... With Alyris, I, um, I hadn't gotten Lazel at the beginning, so this is where I was first introduced to her, and, um, of course I was underleveled at the time because most of the game I was underleveled as Alyris, um, so I couldn't fight these guys. And, uh, Lazelle ended up dying, so the way that I recruited her to my party was by revivifying her after they had left. <laughs> because she had been killed by them. It was pretty interesting. But I did miss, like, a lot of the... I didn't even go to the crash. I don't know if I even did the mountain pass. Well, no. I had to have. Yeah, I did the mountain pass, but I didn't go to the crash. Because I had no idea that it was there, because her story was all messed up because I hadn't gone to her from the beginning. And I hadn't really been able to talk to her. So, yeah. I missed, like, a big part of this part of Act 1 because I didn't get her at the beginning with Lyris. Anyways, now that that's over, um... Go ahead. Lazel. <laughs> Lazel. Proud. Regal, even. You will call me Jestil Kithrak. Vos, Knight Supreme. The Queen's Silver, the Queen's Sword. I am who you say. A gate vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed with the sacred runes of our people. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon that Voss seeks is the same one the Absolute's followers are hunting. It's the artifact that she carries. Her mind focuses. The Gith's suspicions cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is right within their grasp. 
Take word to your crash. You are to join our search. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. Um... Mm, mouth assignment. Send it command to Lizzo. Play along. You honor me with this duty, Kithrak. I shall alert my caretaker with haste. The Kithrak nods, content with Lazel's answer. You serve your queen well, child. Take your slaves and hunt those who escaped the Geich ship. They must carry the weapon. I fly now to Vlakith, our undying queen. She will see your faith rewarded in this plane and ours. A current of deception carries Voss's words. Wherever he flies, it is not to Vlakith. To Danos! To the sky! Interesting. You did well to intervene, vexed as I am to admit it. The distilled Kithrak would have flayed our skin and left our carcasses to burn in the sun. All for the sake of the artifact that we carry. The crash is near, this much we know. We follow the path forward and into the valley. No one, not even the ignoble distilled Kithrak, will keep me from my purification. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's Elastray's Ritual of Sorrow. That's cool. I didn't know that.
Oh. I did not know that you could get inspired from that. Or that he could get inspired from that. So I have two? Yeah. What's inside? Oh, y'all. That's the tiefling that Zoro is with. Never been this way before. I've been watching you fight. That might be worth a look. Oh. No. I'm so sad. She was actually. Fitting through that tiny hole. <laughs> um, she was gonna compliment Shadowheart. I'm so sad. Due to inclement weather, seek marked detail. Road closed, detour ahead. <laughs> This sword is so big. You are able to progress your adventure. Make sure to type any loose ends before advancing. <sighs> the pretty yard.
I love it. Look at it, it's so pretty. It's gorgeous, dude. Like, look at that. Favorite scenery in the game, for real. The soundtrack's really pretty. must be nested in the temple below. We must go there at once. Tears you script, he said. What does that mean? Githyanki writing. Every word a wheel. Every letter is spoke. The most powerful texts are engraved in slate. Some so ancient, only the most erudite gish can read them. How do you know I can trust your people? You don't have to trust them. Only to trust me. And I do I trust you. I have not you. failed you yet, and I have no intentions of it now. I don't need you to believe me for it to be true. That's so sweet. I'll lead you there in my own time. We need to stay close if we're to survive. Chuk. Very well. But promise me we will return before our chance is lost. Else I make my way there alone. I promise. We'll go to the crush before we lose a chance. Lead on, then. Do they have anything to say about this, please? If the Gith are looking for that artifact, then we may have something valuable on our hands. And it's a powerful weapon to boot. Things are starting to look very interesting. <laughs> He's just here for the drama at this point. May the darkness protect you. Okay. good. <laughs> Two goblin camp. Death Shepherd. Blessed be you, Pilgrim. Take respite now in the dawn's loving gaze. Looks like Lathanda, god of the dawning sun. I think if I was to ever worship a god in the D&D universe, it would be Lathander. It seems pretty chill to be a Lathander. Lathan Lathandarian. I warn you, I'm exceptionally well armed. Okay, so am I. Ah, <sighs> 
friendly face. Oh, you are a sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. You know, I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Look over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? Partially. <laughs> the Lathandarian monastery is site of pilgrimage. How is it wretched? Oh, I mean no offense to the morning lord. I simply prefer when his monasteries aren't overrun with brutish, stupid, rude Githyanki. Brutish and rude by your wretched standards. But stupid. Chucky. Your charming companion would call it a crash, but it was built on what remained after the Githyanki slaughtered all of the monks. I'd call it a murderous training camp. Acutely observed on both counts. Honestly, I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. And how am I repaid? Attacked and run off like some transient. You tried to buy one of their children? What? No, of course not. I was merely... Well... Uh... Look, it's just an egg. The Society of Brilliance asked me to acquire one of their row so they can incubate it and, once it hatches, raise the spawn in their tradition. Please, do enlighten me. What is this tradition? The society believes a Githyanki raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature. I'm sure your friend would agree. A Githyanki is as likely to forsake its violent nature as a gnome is to fly. Ooh. Violence is taught, not inherited. You don't need to steal a child to know that. You've been sipping from the same goblet as the society. Perhaps you'd be willing to help them, to prove your point. They may have chased me away, but surely the Gith would welcome a person with such sympathetic views to their crash. And once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. Steal one of Gith's own. I will slit your throat for even suggesting it. I'm not talking to you. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. Oh, you wonder... Hold on. It looks different to what I expected. Are you sure that's a gith egg? proven an exceptionally efficient friend today. I hope we can work together again. I'd be getting mauled by that elbowware. Something. 
Have I been this way before? It's always a pleasure to see you sauntering over. <laughs> it's so stupid. I love it. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to see you sauntering over. <laughs> you always sound so thick. sell to her? I actually don't think I need to sell anything. Oh shit. I just want to see what she has for sale. I want to have a word. Thank you so much. Do be sure to pop into the lodge should you ever visit Baldur's Gate. <laughs> I should hope so. When adventure calls, I am always thoroughly prepared. Take a look. Just like slowly collecting all the dyes. <laughs> so Why is this very rare stuff? Only like 20. M Wait, hold on. It's 26 more gold than this rare stuff, and it does the same amount of damage. And you get thunderous smite with it. Ah. 
I actually think that I'm gonna buy it. I don't know what... What weapon Gale has. But it'll be what it'll be. Actually, wait. That looks really cool. You know what? I might save it for Gale. Or give it to Gale. And then sell it later. What? Morn Monastery, West Moonrise Towers.
Distraction over. Oh, that was so funny. a very good career to star in. I see what it is. You just wanted to make out with the lawyer. Sure. Got the gamer stance going. The Baldur's Gate gamer stance. Got to press on. Flopped over like a fish. I'm just grit his ass.
Flugzeug. Fury and death, actually. You know, I'm doing it. Oh, bro. Sorry. Damn. That went well except for ill here. Oh, that's so cute. The little guardians are birds. Oh, I love that. I never noticed that before. The fight actually went really well. I was kind of shocked, considering they're the same level as me. Oh, I was like, why did Lazelle have a concentration save? It's because she has Hunter's Markup.
Duke Raven Guard is to be delivered unharmed or mostly so immediately. Moonrise Towers cannot fulfill its destiny until the Duke has been delivered. Those who succeed will be rewarded. Those who fail will feed. Face first my wrath, then Gortash's, then mine again. General Kethic Thorn. The Absolute's forces have taken Duke Raven Guard to Moonrise Towers. A powerful asset. Just what are their intentions, I wonder? Oh, that's one's for long rest. Oh. Oh, squirrels. Potion of glory is sleeping. Man. May the darkness protect you. Thank you. Okay, yeah, she's just got blood all over her. North, Rosie Morn Monastery. West, Moonrise Towers. This view is almost worth the walk. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. I did not know that you could do that. I had to take a screenshot of that. It's just so pretty. Gosh, it's all inside at least on his head.
might as well be done. Impossible. inspiration on that. <sighs> the thing is older than the Rock of Brawl and just as unyielding. Use last. No use. Not right now, at least. <laughs> Hard to budge. Good thing I'm stronger than I look. <laughs> I was not about to try a star no. game with it. Please get on the thing. Thank you. The traitor Kendra takes great interest in this relic of his shadow. Or should I say, weapon? What are you hiding? Nothing. I assume your kin are just as misguided as you. Exactly dressed for hiking mountains. Shame we couldn't procure some pack mules or horses. Horses? Perish the thought. Those ill tempered beasts are prone to biting. Well, so are you, but we keep you around, don't we? <laughs> and I'm not offering any rides, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> It's one of my favorite chatters. I love it. I'm not offering any, any rides if that's what you mean. If that's what you're thinking. That might be worth a look. Okay, oh, thank you, Shepard. <clears throat> oh. Stupid Valentine's deal. Spotify. Shut up, leave me alone.
it, girl. Dude, they were killing it. Did someone steal something from you? Steal? Eagles are bigger. They just take. Nest, prey, everything. That's how it works here. I can't help but notice you have a nest right there. Oh, sure, a nest. But it's not my nest. That's up on the roof with the eagles. Eagles are <laughs> Wait, so if that's not your nest, whose is it? <sighs> Some poor little tit who wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so the eagles are pricks for stealing a nest, but you're not? Exactly right. Not all humans can grasp bird ethics. You should be proud. Oh, it's not even like the eagles need my nest. The drunk lizards they eat aren't hard to catch. While quite vague, drunk lizards could well point to kobolds. Who tend to operate in packs. Uh, do you want me to go and deal with the eagles for you? <laughs> you kill an eagle? <laughs> but if you think you can, then please, please kill the eagles. They're the worst! I'll see what I can do. Thank you. I'll keep an eye on the roof. Rude bastards, those eagles. Deserve a little comeuppance. Thanks, Asarian. Maybe warn me a little sooner next time, my love.
Dear Morning Lord, and you are a jury, a dearie. Haven't I just had the greatest the grandest time? Sure if I was honey, I wouldn't have trouble getting down the hill, so warm and good I feel. I've been headed down to headed here to pay you homage and beyond other Lord, I can't read. I've been headed here to pay you homage and beyond another business for some two odd months, and every mile has unearthed more and more kindnesses. For example, when my sleeping roll was infested with butt bugs, issued me dis disagreeably, Moony Lord. I have no qualms admitting it. The woman gave me a spare of hers, and it was toasty and warming of a night, and she was the two children of her own to tend. Anyway, thanks for pouring your honey heat over each and every day, cloudy or no, here for a lone woman barefoot and smiling on the long road. Good morning, morning. Good morning, Lathander. I suppose all mornings for you are good. You make them up out of all the bright bits of night and getting them shine worthy and such. I have two new boys, Luke and Elliot, and I should like them to see lots of your nice sunups. So if you'd watch over them, I should be the most thankful. I am poor as fuck, but I have some heart left to give. That which has not been eaten up by my by the boys and their mom. So that bit of yours. So that bit is yours if you keep them seeing sunrises. Thanks, Harrison Fields. That's enough! On your feet. Where are you taking us? If this is about that weapon your friend was talking about, we don't have it and we don't know shit about it! Silence! Move! No! No, 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 I'm not going in there! I won't! Anyone want to join her? As I thought. Through the doors. Now! The captain is expecting you. Forward. Carefully. These cultists have the crash on high alert. Of the undead. Now you know, better not be slandering. Oh wait, you will slander Lathander because you're a, a Shar worshiper. Lathander's my boy. You don't talk mess about him. So the gift Yankee and the fond of the cultists could be a good thing. I don't know why they wouldn't be fond of the cultists. 
Within the artifact, a feeling stirs. Uncertainty. Your curiosity is getting the better of you. Do not let it. Stay away from the Githyanki. They're hunting you. They want the artifact. They'll stop at nothing to take it from you. Glory to you, bringer of the dawn. My wife and I have been trying to conceive for nearly two years now with no luck. We've long been followers of your blessed creed and visit Rosie Morn every ten days and worship at your altar. Please, Lord, I know you've given us a lot already, but if you hear our prayer, grant us this one wish. You will find us in your service tenfold. This is all that now stands between ourselves and everlasting joy. We have faith in you, Lothander, and are grateful for many blessings of your light. stop here for today and then tomorrow we can just do the crash and then start act two on a clean slate so all right i will see you guys later bye bye